I don't even know what BT is hiding behind. What is that? <laughs> it's dice tray. <laughs> yeah, it's my dice tray. Oh, 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 oh right, right. Persona. Slash dice lid. <laughs> mm. Katie and I have twinsy dice trays, which honestly, I remember when I discovered that her and I have twinsy dice trays, I almost cried because I mm. felt so cool. <laughs> right on. That's that's very fitting. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to our 33rd episode of Dragon Metal Saga. I appreciate you guys, especially you, uh, you uh, all you folks who show up at the beginning and stay throughout, and and sh you know, anyone who shows up early. But I, I yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not calling anybody out. It'd be, you know, I just want to appreciate all you folks. Thank you for being supporters. Uh oh, what's what's Listen, uh, what's the, got her the tickled? The sorcerer is not going to cast iron pellet cannon. Get out of here. Kenneth said, I thought he ADHD to frying pan onto the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I thought what's <laughs> funny is tray. I see him in a little window, and when he just showed it one direction, it, it, I didn't see the dimensionality of it. So I thought it was actually one, a canteen, like a big black canteen <laughs> that you drink out of. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is a frying pan for dice. Frying pan for dice? It's for dice. Well, hey, you gotta let me cook. Yeah, I have to go and cook. Gotta warm them up. My dice tray has purple on the inside. Like Why am I not surprised that your dice tray looks so organized? I mean, Stormy's dice um, tray's got purple too. Yeah, my. Wait, who's oh, who's has yeah. purple? Bates. Really? Mine does. Yeah. We, and <laughs> his is longer, but they're both rectangular. The that's oh, mm -hmm. that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, although I had to MacGyver really his dice joke. tray because yeah. this little one... The snap won't snap, so mm -hmm. we got this oh, no. this yeah. uh, clippy thing. I had to my, uh, MacGyver yeah. it to get it to work. Yeah, MacGyver it. And the funny <laughs> thing is, this actually works out well for our Sunday D&D &D because I don't usually wear the mic. I clip yeah. it to this right here and then mm -hmm. wind it under and I twist this and I have the mic pointing like clipped to this. And... Yeah, uh, nice. So, I don't know. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> I honestly have no logical reason why. Um, yeah. Anywho. How does everything well, look, guys? How does everything sound? Can you hear the music? Uh, any... Thingamajig. It's a thingamajig, yeah. Whatchamacallit. It's, it's, it's a doohickey. <laughs> or as Ariel you know, says. No thing. Thingamabob. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, Looks good. Sound. It looks sounds fine. Thank you, lad. Super Sorry, stormy really hugs nice. to you. Congrats, Demarco, on uh, your square footage last night. Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about, but uh, he works at a, he works at a cardboard press place. Well, I knew that. Yeah. So, so, like, he had a new record where he pressed 402 square feet. Damn. Ooh. Yeah. Congrats, buddy. We got to celebrate the successes of our, of our friends. The games we play at work, <laughs> just to keep ourselves involved. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. So, as I was saying, uh, hi guys, I'm Stormy D, uh, your Dungeon Master uh, NPC voicer extraordinaire, uh, here to craft adventures and experiences for my friends and you guys, my other friends. <laughs> and uh, we uh, are on session 33 of Dragon Metal Saga. And I guess that's my intro, so let's let's uh, go around the robin here like we usually do. I got four people, so Wait. I could just go. Wait, can we go around the owl instead? What was that? Can we go around the owl instead, instead of around the robin? Huh? Absolutely. We're going to go around Yay. Echo, and Echo's going to sit in the middle and judge us harshly. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, Echo does judge harshly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at that face. <laughs> That's the face of a judger. I mean, uh, he does always shake his head this way. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes he nods. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> he keeps saying, no, I don't. <laughs> Just say yes, I love please. it. Well, I love your new don't. Halloween. Was that? Was it like bloody eyes and he's chewing on a pumpkin? What's going on there? I can't tell. He's holding a pumpkin and his eyes have been hollowed out with candles behind them. Ah, <laughs> that's, that's, cool. Cool. that's pretty cool. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, Echo of Proofs. There is also this one too. Ooh. But obviously, we're not raiding anywhere yet. <laughs> oh, you? It, oh, interesting. Cool, cool. Right yeah, it's a seasonal. Your seasonal emotes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I hadn't thought to do that. I just have my seasonal background uh, upstairs. But I mean, um, technically, yours are seasonal anyway. You've got skeletons. They're all mm. year round suitable. It's <laughs> true. Halloween. You have a good point. <laughs> Oh my god. Resub 41 months. Subi J, thank you. Thank you for being here. What a treat. Um Thank you for the resub, Subi J. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 41 months. 41 months. That's crazy. Uh in, that means in seven more months it will have been four years. Time flies. Time flies. Time flies. Yeah, I mean your so stream. His first stream anniversary is coming up in end of January. <gasps> Wait, what? January 29th, 2021. If that's my first stream anniversary, then... That's like your very first stream before you even made affiliate. Oh, okay, right, right, right. 41 months is from the affiliate point, right? Mm -hmm. I see your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And I am 25 nice. followers away from 400. Whoop! Woohoo! <laughs> Hell yeah, baby! I believe Druid is like 25 followers away from 750. <clears throat> I don't even know. <laughs> so, well I done. I do something all of us. ridiculous uh, at, at the milestone. 24. What was that, buddy? 24. 24. I know it's roughly 25, somewhere in there. How about, how, how about, you, how about you, Faye? Not that the numbers matter, but, uh, Till what? Yeah, it's 65. Yeah, that's 65. Nice. That's, uh, I mean, you know, yeah. we're all where we're at for now, and we will oh, yeah. get where we're going to go when the time is right. <laughs> but today we're here to have some fun, and, and actually it is, it is, uh, uh, Fate gets to start off with his introduction, please. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Extra Fate Fate, and I play Merrick, who is a uh, spell slinging wizard. And this is Echo, who just needs to calm down. Yes, <laughs> calm down. Uh, uh, less importantly, this is a gourd, because I can. Thank you for. Coming to Are you gonna name your gourd Gordo? Or Gordy? No, no. Maybe <laughs> you need to stop it. All righty. Uh, we'll we'll uh, next then. The sitting next to him. Uh, I'm not talking about Echo. I'm talking about the green-haired goddess over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, please say something, little goddess of gremlins and goblins. <laughs> And I play Thera, who's an ASMR rune knight fighter slash paladin of justice. No, I has a talking sword. Right. Has a talking sword. Talking sword. All right. I mean, I don't need to roll for BT. Sorry, I'm just doing that pin comment once. Oh, again. thank you. Well, if you want, then if you're busy, I'll just come back to you. Please okay. introduce yourself. <laughs> During RP and group chat, he's chat dark apart from raids and whatever else BT notices. <laughs> <laughs> well said, sir. <laughs> As BT is the ultimate mod during our um, d d sessions, because mm -hmm. I don't have access to anything. Mm -hmm. oh. Apparently I'm the only one that has access to the chat and can actually keep their shit in control. Great. Stormy. <laughs> <laughs> You also click over a lot too. Yeah, but I don't. Um... So engage or react. <laughs> so BT, you can introduce yourself, sir. Yes, I am BT. <laughs> no, I, I I am BT, aka Banana Tom, and I play Sindri the Sorcerer, Rock Gnome. And a banana. Somehow we got. Even though I came to you, did you actually do your intro? No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am It's Star Kitty, and I play Shay, the great elf 
ranger, tricorden ranger with a dragoon named Milo. <laughs> he's he's a dragon kitty. He's a ki he's a purple dragon kitty. He's a, he's a dragon kitty, but you always say he's he's a dragoon. So what am I supposed to call him? I mean, Milo. You know. <laughs> right, Milo. <laughs> he okay. got you there. So I play Shay, the great elf ranger, Drake Warden Ranger, with a companion named Milo. <laughs> the goon. The goon. <laughs> well said, everybody. Uh, and uh, tonight is a su super easy recap of last uh, of last week and what we're going to get into tonight. Um, basically, the the party members were very. Cautious and careful and smart and clever. Um, they they missed only one opportunity, and it was a minor mistake. But it turned out to be a, a potent. I mean, not necessarily a mistake per se. It's like uh, the bottom line is is Captain Crinlaw, who they thought was was a staunch ally, turned out to be the the uh, the secret uh, demonic. Uh, Fucking. <clears throat> um, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, the the secret demonic third party um, benefactor of the pirates, um, the backer of the pirates, and um, uh, the uh, and it wasn't technically like you know they were actually clever and smart, and I even remember they. Uh, insight checked him several times. Um, but he was just a really good liar. Because <laughs> he's a succubus, or a male su succubus, which is called an incubus. And, um, uh, and yeah, they're, they are really good lying. Super, like, insane. Like, my boss. Yeah. Um, and, um, they didn't know this, of course, because he just looked like a regular ship captain. Uh, um, although handsome in, in stuff. Uh oh, what's what's going on? What happened? I, uh, you know, uh, it, 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 that's it, the, the middle. Okay. You made it. Hi, cheerful bacon. <laughs> Hello, cheerful bacon. <clears throat> A wizard is never late. <laughs> bacon is never late. It's always welcome. That's true. <laughs> Especially if, if you're if you're Naboo. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> um, all right, where was I? Oh, yeah, so they, uh, they had, uh, freed all of the, the, um, prisoners of the pirates, which is the, the previous realm running team, helped, helped heal them up as, as, and feed them and get them back to, uh, Progentica. And then they did a good job of, of fibbing to, uh, Captain Crenlaw. Um, uh, and, uh, oh, like, he was, he cleverly maneuvered them by suggesting that he help them, uh, go after the person that both, like, if you think about what happened the last few times, and, and even the previous to the previous, there was a conversation where you guys, that you, that you guys, I believe it was just, uh, Merrick had with the captain. In which the, uh, he, after um, Merrick kind of was sharing his thoughts and his theories about who it might be, that it could be some sort of, you know, um, wealthy, knowledgeable, connected merchant in town. Um, Captain Crenlaw kind of ran with that and, um, or perhaps he was planning it from the get-go, uh, regardless uh, he pointed them in the direction that, that they were kind of already leaning towards with, uh, in a turn, you know, so they went after Eobard Crudite. Um, but at the last second when they were interrogating, they, so all of the party and the, the Captain Crinlaw went to, in, uh, interrogate slash just have a conversation with the merchant ca uh, captain and 
it seemed from the get like from the get go from their conversations and his sincerity that this Eobard Crudite didn't didn't seem to be uh, like the the backer, and it turned out he, he was wasn't. Annoying. What was that? But he was annoying. He was. He was very like purposely made him unlikable, <laughs> and um, um. But BT's not upset he's dead. What was that, BT? <laughs> BT's not upset that he, uh, well, became an X and BC. <laughs> um, the former BC. Yeah. Basically, the bottom line is, is uh, like he he actually was trying to help them in his own kind of, you know, assholeish way. Uh, it, 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 at the last minute. Captain Crinlaw showed his true form, stabbing Eobard Crudite, killing him instantly from behind, and uh, transforming into his actual normal form, which is a very, uh, like, an incubus, a, a, a demonic form that only Merrick has a slight clue might be even more than just your average incubus, just based upon some of the legends and uh, he's read in the, the pictures he's seen of, of these creatures. Um, and that's actually where we left off. The cliffhanger was uh, the, uh, the third party backer of the pirates revealed himself. Uh, part of his big plan was to take over, uh, it was to get into a position where he could kill Eobard and uh, assume his form and take over his little empire. Uh, um, and uh, who knows what his ultimate motivations are, but uh, he apparently is, is either he is or he's working for someone called Sardok. The party doesn't really know if he is Sardok, Sardok or if he's working for someone named Sardok. Um, and uh, that's basically it. Oh, you have a question or a thing to add that I might have missed. Yeah, in, in all of the uh, the readings that Merrick has, uh, it's quite weird to see um, an incubus standing upright. It's usually in some form of Kama Sutra. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> probably uh, true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> call, it, call it like I read it. I mean, we did pass the sailor's bed. Uh, I think that's really, really what he wants the seaman's bed. Hmm. Hmm. So, did I miss anything? I so basically, he revealed himself, and in, in, so he he's going. He he he's, I purposely teed it up for. It. <laughs> I uh, so this guy, this incubus, is gonna. His intent is to kill the party, so there's no more witnesses, and so that the the mission to re uh, reveal him is 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 finished. And they actually did him a favor by taking out the pirates because. Uh, it, it was at this point that his relationship with the pirates uh, was no longer useful to him, and he kind of just sort of lightly, you know, shared that um, in the in the conversation. He basically thanked them for uh, doing his work for him, and um, that's where we're at. They uh, were getting ready to literally roll initiative um, for the start of tonight. But before we get there, let's do the. Uh, Individual recaps. All right, here we go. Rolling, 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 rolling. Few them dice roll. Go BT. Thank you for the follow. Tom Foolery. Thank you for the follow. Yes. Your name's amazing. Your name's it's amazing, Tom. Tom I agree. Tom Foolery, WTG. What is the, 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 are you okay with, sh you don't have to share this, but I'm gonna ask, and uh, what does the what, uh, WTG stand for? Is it something I've missed? Uh, you like went with the polite version, I was gonna say, what the fuck is WTG? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> explain your name to me. What does it mean? <laughs> it's if you want to, but you don't have to. No. It's it's totally it's cool. We, we, we appreciate you being here regardless and definitely dig that. Uh, oh, with guy. that guy. Uh, ah, I love it. I was going to go with winning the game. Ooh. Just because he lost it. <laughs> <clears throat> it's okay, Drew. It's not been half an hour. You're safe. Wait, what? <laughs> you can only you lose can only... the game in half an hour slot. Mm -hmm. You got half an hour to forget it. 
right. What are we talking about? We were talking Nothing. about who gets to go first to share what stood out most to their character last time. And the person that I rolled first would be Sindri. <laughs> um, I caught myself off guard. You <laughs> caught yourself off. Possible. <laughs> he totally broke himself and tripped himself up. Oh man! <laughs> you want me to come back to you? I can. I can reroll. Did, did, did you just feeble mind yourself? Yes, absolutely feeble mind. <laughs> all right, all right. If he feeble minded himself, we gotta let that wear off. We'll, 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 we'll come back we'll, to you. We'll, tr we'll move on while he while he gathers his mind. Um. Thera. <clears throat> All I know is that I am ready to start this fight and get one less of these vile creatures off of my planet. Well said. Straight and to the point. Anything else? Nope. All right. Stood then up, uh, right? next is Merrick. <clears throat> well, it's, um, why am I surprised? I'm not. I am. Weird. Interesting, uh, you said that, um, before that, uh, an owl was a, a good omen. Uh, strangely enough, where I come from, an owl is an omen of death. And we have come. So, Vera, <laughs> let's make your ancestors proud. Yes. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. All right, Cindy, I know you got big shoes to fill there, but I'm 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 confident in you. No, they're small. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely small. It's just cold. <laughs> <laughs> cold does not make your feet smaller, Druid. <laughs> <laughs> but that was good. Hey, Dirk must it'll be change. permanently cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, if we'd have been cheap and got a really shitty crew, would we have still ended up with this dickhead? Anyway, what is this dickhead? <laughs> I, I'm not sure I understand what he is. Um, but... He definitely looks slightly demonic, which... Yeah, Thea is definitely pissed. Wouldn't like to be in his shoes right now. Oh well, I suppose we're... having a... captain's room fight? Yeah? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> right on, well said, well said. Before we get on... <laughs> um, to Shay, um... Uh, yeah, we're doing uh, 5e. Uh, we found that since it's <coughs> the, the most, <coughs> excuse me, the most well-known and, and streamlined, it's nice to use for um, streaming. Um, but to give you a little bit of background uh, on all of us, real quick background, since we got a new person here that uh, it seems really cool. Um, uh, I, I've been uh, playing since the original BX set. I started in 1981. And I quickly became, well, the only dungeon master <laughs> of my group. <laughs> and um, uh, I've played every edition. Um, my kind of first love, I, I loved AD&D, but, but I really loved the, the improvements that 3.5 made. Um, and, uh, but I, I really like 5e too, uh, for different reasons. I would say, ultimately, 3.5 kind of is my favorite a little bit, to, just to like a slight percentage. Uh, I have more nostalgia for AD&D, but 5e is great for just gaming with your friends. It's just a great system. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what we're all about here. Uh, I've been, yeah, like I've been doing it a long time. She's been doing it a long time. Uh, we actually met playing Dungeons and Dragons. We've been together for 20 years now. So she's a 20-year D&D veteran herself. It's lots of characters. Uh, and uh, I'm super fortunate that I got to meet Dru uh, Druid and Extirpate Fate, the couple over there. 
I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to ignore them and keep we're talking. We're self-entertaining. That's what we're doing. I know. So um, running, uh, passive entertainment. Yeah, yeah. No, keep 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 doing your tomfoolery for keep, tomfoolery. Keep That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, uh, yeah. So I was super He's fortunate to meet time. Druid and, and extirpate Fate. Fate and I bonded because he, I knew his care or his his uh, Twitch name was a magic card that's one of my favorite magic cards and one of his favorite magic cards and then uh druid uh like we knew we know each other through uh a, a fellow follower of ours um who who connected us and that's how i also ended up meeting fate and we had some conversations and started doing some collabs and eventually decided you know what Dru uh, you know star kitty and i and druid and fate seem to have a nice connection and uh, so we decided to play some uh, some D and D offline. We did like I think sessions, <laughs> and um, yeah. it was just it was just like a perfect fit. And uh, so we decided we're going to start streaming it, and we did that. Wow, um, <laughs> what two years almost, plus? What what almost, is this? This almost is almost three years. October, now. almost three years. Yeah, the the first yeah, campaign into... we did online was two years. It was 87 episodes, I think. And Something you can like find that, it on yeah. our YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. Let me throw that up there. You can also find previous episodes of the Dragon Metal Saga also on YouTube. Yeah. If you or, would like to catch up. Or you can find Dragon Metal Saga on Amazon Music or Spotify as well. Yeah, if, if you, you want to just listen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, wow. What's going on over there with BT? He looks like a... I don't know. A pilot with extra eyes. Um, so I'm be two glasses. So uh, <laughs> Fate has has been playing D and D style games for a while, um, for a few years, and then uh, his main TTRPG was Palladium, correct? Uh, but I think you had said that you had played other systems as well, like actual D and D or Pathfinder, uh, right? So D and D was uh, my first like true D D experiences with was with you and with playing Dungeons oh. and Dragons. Wow. Um but I have played some Pathfinder uh and a lot of Palladium. Um so I know that there's a being that there's a lot of crossover, it's a, it's very similar, but my official like D D experience really has been with you. The oh. the last time was um uh, it didn't exist. It doesn't exist in my brain anymore. I got you. Oh yeah, you. those yeah. failed attempts. Those failed attempts. Yeah. yeah. D &D. And I guess this, that means that, that the same goes for Druid because we know that this has been her first yes. time. And, uh, yeah. My first time was live streamed. Let's go. So oh, yeah, baby. I, 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 you know, even though Fate is more of an adept, uh, He's been remarkably good at this game, both as a RPer and tactics. Mm -hmm. And the same goes for Little Fern over there. <laughs> Sorry, we're referring to her as, yeah. a, as her you other know, character. Right. You know what? It's fine. She lives on in our hearts forever yes. with Chunk of Pillar. Yes. So does Philip. Mm -hmm. And War. Yeah. And all of them, they're so awesome, yes. you know, even though they are stuck in our rock in oh, space and time somewhere. Yes. So I'm I honored that, that I was fun. Druid's first time, and she is a remarkable RPer. And ever since then, uh, you know, we've gotten to guest star on some other people's D and D streams, and and many D and D DM streamers have have tried to steal her away. <laughs> um, and uh, and then, of course, we met the amazing Banana Tom, um, and he just joined this year. He was not in the previous campaign, but he fell in love with us by watching our previous campaign. <laughs> and that's um, a strong word. <laughs> uh, he, he just doesn't like to. It's a bits. strong feeling word that BT would never use. <laughs> yeah, we'll use it for you. Oh, thank Enjoy. you for the bitties. Thank you. Yeah, thank so, you for the bitties for the beholder. Tom, the, the beholder. The beholder is a little baby beholder from our last campaign. Mm -hmm. Isles in the Mist. If you'd like to find out a little bit more, you can always watch those episodes. Yeah, like, it's, it's a lot of content. Maybe we'll give yeah, you the you quick, quick, quick episodes notes. to watch at all. Mm. <laughs> Just a few. Yeah. We uh, ended with the double digits. We never 
We haven't hit triple digits yet. We haven't hit triple digits for a campaign, so. Looking at you, Stormy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you say triple digits, you mean for how many episodes? Yeah. yeah. Ah. Well, yet. it's funny that you say that because even though I think I had told you guys at the beginning of this campaign that I thought this campaign would end up being shorter than the last one, I might end up being wrong. <laughs> we'll see. That's we'll okay. see. Um, we love it. I'm having a blast. As long as you're having fun, of course, that's all that matters to me. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> anyway, right. I guess we better get this show on the road. Welcome to the show. To we show Tom Kitty. Poolery and all yeah. the other folks. Yeah, we need we need the best the bestest and the most anticipated uh, how do you feel about last week, Star Kitty? Oh, right, because exactly. Buckle, buckle up, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> so, so uh, no. yeah, yeah. That through, through, uh, through uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Through the democratic process uh, and, and the insistence mm -hmm. of all the team members over there, uh, we always let uh, Star Kitty do the, the, the final one for this campaign, for this character. Because and that's why did, did Drew just hide again? Uh, no, she's standing up. It's fine. Oh, she's moving back. Okay. She's standing. Up. <laughs> I said, okay, I'm gonna prepare now, and then I, you know. All right. So yeah, because uh, Shay doing her her again, Star Kitty doing her. Uh, recap of, of her character's thoughts from last week. She's done this creative cool thing where she turns it into a journal entry for the character. And everyone has just fallen in love with, with her sweet, naive, <laughs> slightly psychotic <laughs> character. I love it. I'm here for it. All right, let's Must go. Be All right, is everybody ready? Mm. No. No? I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Dear Journal, it's me, Shay. Journal, Shay is confused. But then again, when is Shay not confused? Right, Milo? Who we thought was the big meaner is not, and who we thought was helping turns out to be the meaner. Huh? P.S. Journal, Make it make sense, please. How can the good guy be bad and the bad guy be good? Make it make sense, please. <gasps> Is this what betrayal feels like? P.P.S. Journal. Jay had a thought. You know, right? Jay had a thought. Wait, the thought is gone. Thought left Jay's brain. Wait, it's back. No, it's not. Gone again. Wait, it's back. Now, now hear me out, journal. Hear me out. What if Jay is some sort of character in an overarching storyline that someone beyond Shay has created? Like in that moving picture, um, the, the Matrix? Matrix? Is that what it is? <laughs> I think, like, you know, Mr. Neon and Miss Serene people experienced? They were being controlled by that one guy? Nah, that's not possible, right, Journal? Right? P, 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 S. Demons are real. Shay can confirm. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Okay. They get better every week. They do. <laughs> They're so good. Mm. Mm. Uh, Thank you, Raiders. Yeah, Raiders. Welcome in. Your timing was impeccable. You made it just in time Ooh. for the, 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 the Shea Journal narrative. <laughs> and White Seer needs to leave. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because we love you. To start, and I know you're catching up. I love you, White Seer. That oh, was just for your oh, own. Right, right, right. It's for your own safety. Yeah. Yep. White Seer. Yep. I love you. <laughs> we do. <laughs> so, uh, oh, Mr. Neon. Yeah. <laughs> BT version of that sentence. We are acquaintances. Now fuck off. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, God. Just announce it to beat the bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Congrats, buddy. Well done. 
Shit. Go have a lie down. Don't blame, blame you, bro. Don't blame you. By the way, oh, man. Uh, White's a, here. An SS flask or something. Yep. Uh, White's here is one of our newest streamers of Stormkeep, and we adore him greatly. And thank you for the for for the uh, the raid. I appreciate you. Yes. So uh, just like you can see pinned above, guys. Normally, uh, for my regular streams, I have you know channel point redeem stuff uh and sounds and stuff for alerts but we have that stuff the audio of it turned off and in the channel alerts are turned off during the dnd stream because uh we like to oh thank you for the follow uh because we like to what we do we when, once we get started in the gaming we go chat dark and uh except for raids and uh basically that way we can focus on enjoying the game and you guys get to experience what it's like to actually be here instead of, you know, distracted um, gamers. So uh, we want to try and craft a, an experience that's as close to real world as possible. I guess, uh, interestingly enough, you're not seeing all of the pictures since I have But um, yeah, we like to actually use actual minis with actual <laughs> Uh, Matt, and uh, I'll be right back. It, it looks like Drew, Drew, and and Giddy <laughs> need to, needed to hey, go. Hey, hey, hey! Only mm -hmm. Icy can call me only that. Only Icy can call you that. Oh, yeah. come on, come on! I love that name. It's so good. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, thank <laughs> you. Uh, let's let's freak both of them out since uh, we're gonna actually be getting to this point anyway. So there we go. Uh, see what's Drew, on the screen just there. Took a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for initiative. Time to start drawing up the map because they're literally getting ready to fight, fight uh, uh, an elite succubus. There you go. <clears throat> you suck. Yes, the elite like succubus don't, don't stuck. Oh man. This is so. Uh, those who know out. minis know that this is actually like a demon lord named Gratzd. But I, I use the figures however I want to use them. This is <laughs> which is the correct way to use them. So before we go chat dark, um, uh, DeMarco, you weren't able to find Dragon Metal Saga on Spotify. Dragon Metal is one word, but I did send you a link to it just in case. Oh, thank you. Nice. Oh, wait, right, they didn't get oh, to see are, that. What are we doing? Do it over here. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Pick a color. Purple, green, blue, green. or yellow. For what? Green. Green. Or initiative roll. Oh, we're rolling really initiative. Me. I mean, I'm the DM, like and purple's my favorite color. So if you're gonna get good luck, it's probably gonna be well, from purple. I'll let you have that one, Stormy. <laughs> you can veto that for the purple. Seen as your, seen as this your campaign. <laughs> well, campaign. I'm gonna claim interference <laughs> if it's low. Well, on initiative. <laughs> Well, for the first time in first time in forever. I was gonna say for the first time in Dragon Metal. <laughs> <clears throat> Okie dokie. Well, here I'm gonna keep oh, pulling him far away from you. Probably one. Yeah, I'm gonna remember that I have certain features that yeah. um you I can silly, use you today. Silly paladin. Tom, we are currently level six. <clears throat> We're six level, guys. Mm. Level six. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Whoops, I went a little too far over here, but that's fine. <laughs> and this, this will go bound. Bound. We just got me in so much trouble. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? did not show up. You blonde yesterday. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Bases Lynn, for the resub. Brett, the resub. 27 <laughs> months. Hey, everyone, go check out Bases Lynn. He's a fellow streamer and a good friend of the channel. He's been uh, with us well. That's just how long he's been subbed, because I actually, I think it's we've known him longer than that. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> we call him Brett because that's what his name used to be. But <laughs> right, I actually love his name. It makes me want to go have steak. <laughs> the Thizzlin's been following you for three years. So, so you go steak, I go bacon again. 
<clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, when we finish campaign today, I am going to have my final meal of the day as bacon butties. <laughs> I did delete my VOD. Oh, but Alican has been following oh. you for 10 months, two days, and 20 hours. Now. Wow, that's amazing, Stork Pistol. <clears throat> Okay. I y'all, know if y'all are ever curious how long Stormy's been been streaming, just let me know. I'll type in my followers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've been around for two years, four months, and seventeen days. Awesome, dude! Wow, two Triple years. Bacon. Is... Triple bacon. bacon heard bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, don't get bacon. me wrong. Bacon's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, Druid's been following for Stormy. Stormy been following Stormy for two years, eleven months, and four days. Yeah. Guys, what does the map represent? Like a fantasy world, or is it like the floor map of inside? Oh, we're actually fighting on a, a ship. Yeah, right now it's gonna. Yeah, it's basically. Uh... Oh, it's the first time seeing D and D. Oh, right on, right on. Omen, uh, Omen Echo. Oh, that's a badass name. <laughs> now that I read it right, <laughs> Omen Echo. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so this is basically like this. gonna be like a, a galleon's sized ship. Pr- pretty big ass ship. Um. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Um, um, this is an echo. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, Fitz whopping his hooter out on stream. Hey, hang on. I mean, that you're supposed to flop your hooter out, right? <clears throat> as long as it's not your cooter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pelican asked, by the way, how do you determine if an AOE has hit the target? Because I saw you use actual circles for spells like fireball and stuff. Oh, yeah. So that's a great question. For example, here's a fireball AOE. Let's say you have a dude there (laughs) and a dude here, right? If the player uh, or the bad guy chooses to target this spot right here as the center, then whatever point they choose, that's the center. And so you just put this over it centered and you'll see it'll just barely get this guy right here, but it won't get this guy right here. I hope that explains it well. Yeah, two episodes ago, Omaneko Sindri got quite a few people in that very large yeah. circle. Yes, yes, he did. Oh, <laughs> yeah. By the way, Omen Echo, this is a uh, 20 foot radius AoE fireball. I did not make this big enough. <clears throat> Just a sec. These headphones are already fucking dying. Well, uh, you know, fireballs are always a 20 foot radius. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's made like a weird spark sound. But I know what you're oh, saying. Just you're... Call him, oh, just call him Omen. Or, uh, so, okay. Omen or, or, yeah. Gotcha. But yeah. Hey, one thing that I've been tempted to get, Druid, is the, you know, the headphones that musicians use. I can't think what, like a sound monitor rather than headphones. I can't think what they're called. Well, I'm I really tempted to buy those whenever these eventually die. <laughs> That's, you know, it, yes. Yeah, well, because like these headphones were expensive, right? Yeah. And and like we, I've only had them for maybe a year, and they're already like they're peeling, and like um like you guys have been crackly, but I know it's only for me because my head because like I clarified with fate, you know, and uh, oh, yes, these are a year old now. But instead yes. of being like a leather on the inside, it's more of a smooth material, and I purposely made that because the PU leather peels no matter what you get. Now, Every Corey, single to answer your question. Yes. What was the question? Yeah, your name grease does catch fire. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and yes, it's a turn based. Yes. It plays with dice and imagination. Yeah, and then yep. you get character sheets that have all your stats and stuff, and it tells you what to roll for whatever skill you use. the best character use. sheets in the Discord. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's have... Yeah, d and is a, a at... fun, fun game to play. Mm-hmm. Can confirm as my first campaign. Definitely is. <laughs> first oh, campaign, and I'm yeah. hooked. You guys honor me. I'm glad you're having fun. That's all that matters to me. Do to do to do. I was looking for someone to be the dead captain, but I'll just draw his dead body. <laughs> Get a little stick figure. Boop. With little X's over the eyes. Doesn't little X's over the accurate. eyes. Okay. 
<laughs> in this little unsmiley face. All right. <laughs> so, While you're still drawing that, I will show. I, I have uh, my base character sheet, mm -hmm. and then I have like all of like my features and traits, like either printed or written out. And so I have a lot of pages to keep track of. And I'm not even a spellcaster. <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah, it's not necessarily always well, that way, but <clears throat> it depends on the on what you're doing and everything. Yeah, generally, Omen, when, when you're playing D&D, not only do you have your character sheet, but it's also nice to keep a notebook, too, mm -hmm. for anything that happens and uh, notes you want to take about your character. <laughs> and I, I, took a, I took a note from Star Kitty, and I keep a player's handbook right next to me so I can double check stuff mm -hmm. because sometimes I can't read my own handwriting. So, yes. <clears throat> and you guys um, hear that? It's a lot about management of the character because, you know, characters get to level up too after hitting certain points or, how, or mm -hmm. however the DM does it. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. There's several versions of D&D, &D, but... Um, so I want you guys to help me yes. uh, d decide how your formation is. If it, you know, I want to do it the way you pitch, you guys pictured it. Uh, or if it doesn't matter to you, then we can just do it something like this. It would have been like... Um, Jay was probably last, standing in front thing. of the desk because he was the one that was in, in All right. reviewing. Right, makes sense. You would have been standing right in front of him, talking mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. Yep, asking uh, him uh, questions. Uh, Captain Zombie, uh, Amazon. Um, this is a modern one. This is 900 milliliters, mm -hmm. um, surprisingly heavy. Um, and this one, it, when I say a real one, I mean this is actually a legitimately real one, like a true board um, that smells absolutely horrible. Did you ever want to drink out of something that decoration. smells rank? That's that's weird. So uh, uh, let's. Uh, my only uh, thought is I can high off that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how about this? Does this work for you guys, formation wise? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, where is? Um, so oh. I, wait, who's in front of me? I'm who's in front, in front of, of you because you were standing behind me to be intimidating. <clears throat> Yes. Okay. This is on the yeah, outside. The dead stick but... person. <laughs> Wait, say that again, BT? I said I like the dead stick person. You like the dead oh. stick the dead stick person? What do you like about the dead stick person? It's funny. It's kind of sticky. This is obviously on the outside of this room. And it's, you know, would go up and be uh, the upper okay. deck area. I'm not going to draw it since you're, I mean, the, the combat might spill out onto the main deck, but. Uh, Omen, are you talking about the uh, uh, minis we're using? Milo, fuck. What was the question? I was I'm like, why is there You said, five? hey, can I see Milo. that one character with this, with the circle thing? Are you talking about this one? This is the, uh, the bat, the, the, the. Mini boss. <clears throat> the other one? That one's Thera. The big one? So this is this is Thera. It's her representation, it's like, not exactly right. what she looks like. It's pretty like. close though. I mean, she wears That's not bad. armor yeah. like that. I think she has like She actually wears pants though. She's not wearing that. Well maybe know. that's just flesh colored pants. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're all uh, I mean that's Thyra, your Thera. <laughs> <laughs> Thyra. <laughs> Damn. Uh, did did, nice. did Dan Cletus rub off on you? What the hell? <laughs> that was pretty hey. good. And this is Sindri. I think his, he's not exactly right, but he's close. I'm completely the wrong color. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and then, of course, this is uh, uh, Merrick and, and Lilek. Oh, never hold it without oh, God, I need that way. looking oh, right out of my... <laughs> Fingernails. Oh, He's so cute. Here's a bigger version of Echo. Yeah. Yep. This is lower accurate size. Yeah. And then this is Shay and Milo. Shay, uh, the Grey Elf Ranger, uh, Drake Warden, and her Drake is unique. It's a little purple dragon kitty. 
And uh, instead of summoning uh, a Drake, what happens is is he turns into for a certain number of rounds, he turns into a uh, basically a, a Drake. <clears throat> it's like he gets to he has a special power activated through his Drake Warden that lets him become his future self. <laughs> and I and just realized I, I drew it wrong, but that's fine. This, this is his representation <clears throat> when he turns into a drake. Right. There we yeah. go. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. He gets pretty scary. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> or at least right now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> He's going to get bigger eventually, probably. <clears throat> All right. So... There would be like, oh wait, I have crates. Why would I not actually use when I have them? <clears throat> so yeah, Omen. Um, some people when they play D and D, they do use these kinds of maps, or they do use like the digital versions that you can get through Roll Twenty, D and D Beyond, um, things like that. So there's several different ways to play D and D. Yep, and some There's people no only right use you know, the digital uh, stuff, which I totally respect. If if there were a digital platform that I really liked, that I thought was a, a decent competitor to this, then I would consider using it some of the time, not all of the time. Um, <laughs> but I really, I really love, <laughs> excuse me, love um, using miniatures since we have so many of them. <laughs> <clears throat> This is the best. Imagination is way cooler. That is true. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> but yes, Omen, we play D&D every Saturday. 3.30 p.m. Central Time. 1.30 p.m. Pacific. What time do we start? Your time, BT? Half nine. And 9.30 p.m. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know if it's a (laughs) historically accurate uh, galleon ship, but (laughs) (laughs) there you go. It's a big ass ship. It's good enough for the dice re-roll. Speaking of rolling, let's do initiatives. Starting with Shay. <laughs> That's Shay. Good. Five? Five. Did you just say five? Five. I rolled a two. Uh, let me, before we continue, grab a cough drop real quick. <clears throat> oh, I need to. I rolled a two on my dice for initiative, and I get a plus three for my dex, and that's it. Hey, Jotun! <clears throat> Jotun's here? Oh. Hey, Jotun. It's Yotanimus. Oh my god. Yotan Red Wolf, the greatest of them all, standing ten feet tall, answering the Viking call with a sword in hand and honor in his chest. Yotan Red Wolf, the kindest and the best. She's, uh, Yotan's right. We're all crazy here, especially the, the green haired one. I, I think, <laughs> arguably, in some way, uh, I probably fit further on that crazy scale because I chose to deal with it. <laughs> so is that like uh, is that like that that saying? Um, um, you meet your who's the greater fool, the fool or the, the fool that follows the fool? <laughs> Except in in your instance, it's who's the crazier one, the crazy one or the crazy one who follows the crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. Somebody for, for BT to nuke with his hammer. <laughs> Where'd it go? It go? Likely ban evader, restricted. Hammer. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> has someone mute Druid? Is that an option? Dang, what a mean thing to say, Yoden. <laughs> but I know he was wanting you muted while you were singing his song. <laughs> I, I could have done that for you, I suppose. <laughs> Not 21. All right. Here we go. About helping y'all. So, uh, Shay was a five. Thera is a uh, seventeen. Merrick. Merrick is an eighteen. Sindri. Fifteen. Fifteen. 
Okay. Whoopsie. Come here, gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give there we go. Shay is still confused. That is why she is the bottom of the round. <laughs> Since you're only facing off against one dude, this should be pretty easy. Especially since uh, he beat all of you guys, you guys on initiative. So he's initiative one. Merrick will be two. Thera will be three. Cinder will be four. And Shay's hanging out at the, at the end of the round. Because Shay is just like... <laughs> yeah, it, it was a bit too shocking to see... The, the, the captain who she thought was her friend suddenly turned into this purple, this sexy purple demon guy. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to clarify, uh, turn order. So it's a piece of shit, Merrick, Thera, Sindri, Shay. Correct. Yep. Cool. I heard Thera and Sindri swapped. My brain did that. And as she wrote it down, I needed to clarify because I'm dumb. By the way, while I was drawing, did you guys do the whole uh, cool thing with uh, White Seer and, and thanking him. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, never mind. I thanked him too, so we're yes. good. We're good. Yes, we thanked we're him. We're good. Good. We got you. We got you. All right. Yeah, Shay's still standing there going, make it make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs> All right. We, we're, we, technically, we're, we're supposed to be chit chat dark, but we weren't. But now we're about to be. Here we go. But feel free to if ask anybody in chat. chat and, dark. Yep. Yeah, yep. Folks in chat will probably be able to answer your questions. No, 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 no worries, uh, Omen. We we appreciate you. Yeah, and, feel, uh, feel free to ask any questions you have in chat. Um, even though we as the players may not acknowledge and answer them, there's always somebody in chat that can always help you out. Yeah. And then you can always jump into Stormy's Discord and ask any questions you have there as well. Yeah. Uh, one other cool <laughs> thing to add is uh, we're not just a single stream here. All of these folks uh, are not only my friends, but they're also streamers. And you'll see in my title below, they have links that you can click on to go follow them. And I appreciate any support that you want to follow, that you want to support these guys at all. And uh, yes. uh, and then on top of that, we are actually building a, a currently we have an unofficial stream team called Stormkeep. Uh, that is, uh, we have like, I think almost 15 members that are all streamers of Stormkeep. And so you'll have, basically you've come into, you got lucky, you've, both you and Tom Foolery have come to a place where you have a mini network mm -hmm. of, of streamers. And um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. There's and, always someone on and, and always someone cool and always something neat to check out. And Omen, I did, I did forget, Jotun Red Wolf is in chat. He is also a D&D &D DM as well. So mm -hmm. feel free to ask any questions. Um, Jotun be happy to answer any of those. Yep. Yep. And he's a fellow streamer. Of Stormkeep. Yes, he's a fellow streamer <laughs> yep. of Stormkeep. And Jotun does run some D uh, D and D campaigns on stream as well. Yep. yep and yep, yep. and finally, before thank we get biddies. into it, I do want to also add. Oh, thank you for the biddies, Tom Poolery. Um, uh, I do want to add that Druid and I also have a um, a podcast talk show called Bandwidth and Banter where we interview other streamers um, and basically to highlight and support uh, people that we admire and respect. I'll be right back in the boo toilet. Ah, understand, understand. <laughs> and um, uh, we, we do that for every Friday. Uh, although next week they're on vacation, so it won't be next week. We won't have B&B &B next week and we won't have B&B &B next week. <laughs> the, the podcast talk show is called Bandwidth and Banter. And, um, um, we also have a special episode that we are doing next month. We'll have two, but then after that, we're going to have one per month where we interview other dungeon masters. Uh, and we basically just kind of talk to them about their DM style. And it's a great place to learn all kinds of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So, Yep. Legacy of Lore Master, LOL, b and Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for uh, for your support and for coming in. I believe Omen came in with the raid, right? <clears throat> yeah. Very cool. Came in with White Seer. White Seer is another streamer, Stormkeep. Right, right. And, uh, and uh, of course, uh, Tom Fullery, you already just can fit, you already fit right in. I can already tell. Yeah. Uh, and we, we adore you and appreciate you. So, um, yeah, hopefully you'll find someone cool to watch at any manner of, of time 
just within our, our special Stormkeep network. Um, so thank you guys for coming. We're going to jump into the action now. Yep. Enjoy the show. All right. Chat um, Bye, everybody. So, thank you for the follow. M Light Studios. Uh, so the big bad has already made his little speech thanking you for, for taking care of the pirates and uh, appreciating, you know, thanking you for getting him into the position to uh, to take over Eobard Crudite's um, little merchant empire. I mean, empire's a bit strong, but you know what I'm saying. Um, He's dead anyway, doesn't matter. Right. He, he, he's super dead. <laughs> his spine is sticking out of his throat. <laughs> um, Lovely. So, but you guys got 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 a, a nasty to, to deal with. And he gets to go first. Um, I don't like that. The, uh, by the way, you guys go check out the, the thumbnail for the last episode. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's the dude. It's, it's your incubus dude. Um, I know. At any rate, the reason I'm bringing it up because he, man, who would he actually You know what? He's gotten to know you guys over the last couple of days. So, and he's seen you in action. Sorta. Of. Sorta. Of. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> well, he could have also seen things that you didn't know that he was seeing. Um, That's fair. Hmm. He's having a, a tough time deciding. This is all happening in his mind within seconds, but he, I'm going to give him a 50 50 shot to go after uh, Thera Shea first with his first plan. Um, looks like it's Shea. Mm. So, Shea. Yes. Um, the. Mexi, uh, purple demon dude looks at you and uh, licks his lips and winks and you need to uh, uh, you, you see you guys see his eyes kind of flash purple for a second and uh, With a charm exactly I need to make a will save yeah now I believe that is that don't elves advantage? get advantage I was gonna say well actually that's advantage. a good point he would he, this guy's super smart. He would know that elves get advantage, so uh, I'm just going to back that up. He's going after Thera. So, Thera, you get to make me a wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> May I ask, is this a spell effect or a um, ability? Mm. Feels like an ability. It's not a spell. It's a natural okay. ability he has. Okay, cool. Um, I, if if you don't mind, mm -hmm. um, knowing I'm just gonna be flat out. I don't want to try to meta game it, but knowing that sometimes it's a spell, sometimes it's an ability. Um, I don't want to necessarily derail if I uh, perhaps try to use uh, a counter spell. Um, so. Uh, I may either continuously ask you, uh, or if you just mentioned he's going to cast a spell, this so that I can appropriately go, I'm going to counterspell that. No. Well, how about we do it so like this then, since you're thinking of it. Uh, mm -hmm. First, let me think. I also you're going to have to, oh, what was that, Tom? Sorry, BT. <laughs> what? <laughs> I also have a counterspell as well. Yeah. 
So the thing yeah. is, is that um, because of the timeline, the way everything went went down is basically happening so quickly. You have mm -hmm. not yet been able to share what you know with the rest of the group about him. And it's what you know isn't a lot because what you had was some legends and stuff, right? And yeah. not detailed, not like a detailed dossier on, on uh, this particular kind of demon. Um, mm -hmm. So first off, not only do you not necessarily have enough information on him, mm -hmm. but your mm -hmm. character also, I'm gonna have you right now, and this isn't mm -hmm. an action, uh, this kind of all happened all at once. Roll me an arcane check, or right, isn't it arcane to determine, or arcana? Yeah. Um, yeah. If you even know what sort of uh, thing he's doing, it, like, this is a spell that you would have... I mean, technically speaking, you would have probably seen the spell and know the spell exists, even if you haven't picked it up yet, but... And uh, Sindri rolled at, at the this same as time. well, or would mm -hmm. he not know? What was, that, Tom, uh, what was that, BT? I keep doing that. <laughs> would Sindri know this to be able to check, or would it be something that he just wouldn't know? I don't think you made the roll last time to figure out it was an incubus, right? No, he yeah, that? like he 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 failed on his roll to figure out it's an incubus. I'm ta right now. This role is to figure out what he's doing, ma yeah. uh, magically, mystically. I would say that that uh, Sindri <laughs> does get a roll too. Yes. Okay. Um, eighteen. All right. Uh, <laughs> and Twenty-four. Sindri. What was that? <laughs> 24. Wow. All right. Um, I know I'm pretty sure uh, Sindri doesn't have charm person or any kind of charm spells in his repertoire, right? No. Um, <laughs> has has Merrick studied them in his book at all? Does he have any kind of charm uh, or charmish kind of spells in his spell book? Um, as long as you consider things like... Um... Uh, hold person and no. uh, hold person is not a charm, pattern. but no, yeah. I know. Uh, but uh, hypnotic pattern, I think that's a charm spell, is it? Mm. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I don't, I don't, think yeah. Really uh, hypnotic pattern on a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. So, yes, so you do we, have uh, that spell then? Pattern. I do have it, not prepared, but I have right. it. <laughs> <clears throat> Yes, yeah, that is a uh, is a charm arm effect. <laughs> so yeah, your yeah. character would have knowledge. I'll say this: mm -hmm. both of your characters recognize what he's doing is a type of magic, and it's a charm mm -hmm. type of magic effect. Mm -hmm. um, neither one of you rolled high enough to determine whether or not this is a spell or a natural or ability. A so I'll leave it up Fair to enough. you to decide what your characters would try to do in this instance. <clears throat> you both have a reaction you could take. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And you can also make the argument that, that your character might still be trying to figure out information before they make a decision. But, uh, Which I, I think the, the, the shock of watching this happen going what the fuck and then like he's doing the thing i probably like even though i know merrick is is quick and speedy with magic i think he's a bit more caught off guard in this immediate moment right recognizing uh something's happening but like uh what is happening i agree so i can go with that cool so same for Sindri. so right. neither one of you are going to take a reaction to do a uh, to try and do a counter spell correct okay all right fair enough then uh so, Thera, what did you get on your uh, wisdom saving throw? Twelve. Okay. Um, your character, uh, you guys see her eyes now are, are glowing, uh, uh, have a slight kind of, not like a deep, like bright glow, but sort of a kind of a, a haze of purple in them. Um, and uh, he looks kind of, kind of starry eyed. Uh, looking at him like, oh my god, he's the most amazing person ever. <laughs> for, for, for the moment, she's just sort of memorized, uh, mesmerized. Um, but, um, so that he can make two actions, or, or he can, 
he can he can either do his multi attack, or he can do one of his special things and one of his attacks. And in this instance, he is going to. Uh, uh, he can also use up one of those attacks to give a command. Um, in this instance, all he is going to do, though, he's... Um, oh, and by the way... Uh, Yeah, actually, that's what he would do. He's going to use his his uh, second attack up to um, command te- telepathically in Thera's mind to um, grapple and restrain the gnome. And she knows... You know, there's no, like, sneaky way of getting out of it. She knows he means the gnome standing next to her. Um, one other thing I will share with both of you, uh, the arcane spellcasters, because you rolled well enough to know, and, uh, well, Sindri rolled well enough to know, uh, Merrick knows simply because he actually has a charm of effect type spell in his repertoire. And that's that the uh, the only way uh, a charm effect, or not the only way, this particular... What's that? Someone at the door. Someone at the door? Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'll share this with you and then we'll share this with uh, Banana Tom when he gets back, but... Uh, you know, you remember from the spell's uh, effect of charm that you can break the charm if uh, you do damage to the person. They will then get another save, and it will they get it in in game world terms. If they are hurt in some way, then it can oh. potentially awaken their mind out of the out of the charm. So, uh, in mechanic term, mechanical terms. Uh, doing damage to them gives them another saving throw. Yep. Um, cool. So he's done. He if sta- I'm still charmed, you can hit me and I'll, I'll get a new saving throw, BT. Just... Yeah. yeah. The, I was saying, you know because that. you rolled high enough to, to know a little bit about charm spells, you know that that can potentially break her from the charm is to, do you know, hurt her some. Okay. And uh, he he's done for the turn. He's going to stand his ground. So next is going to be Merrick. Yeah. Uh, and to be to be clear on the sense because uh, Thera is charmed. Uh, if nothing happens, then uh, Thera takes uh, action on that command and on her turn. It's not during his turn, correct? Yes. Cool. Excellent. So it's your turn. It's my turn. Yep. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, God, no. That theory. Uh, no, I'm not so going to do that. So I'll share this, that your character saw what he did, but in the heat of the fight, it, you know, this is all happening in, in six seconds, in the same six seconds, right? Or, you know, the succession of six seconds. Uh, you don't necessarily know because she is going after you. You don't know if she's been affected by this by the guy or not. Uh, I mean, you just said that her eyes, her eyes, did kind of, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, so never I mind. It's kind of obvious that she would charm. be charmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what she will be trying to do, I I know as player, the command for her is to to restrain the gnome. She knows that as as your character, character doesn't all know, I know is, here. all I know is she's charmed in some way or another <laughs> I don't know what's going on in that sense correct um, that being said um, uh, <clears throat> I, <laughs> I, just, I, I I'm so happy to use it um, I'm just gonna um, subtle spell magic missile at first level. Okay, one dart at Thera and the other two at him. Clever. 
All right, roll your damage. Roll her separately first. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I'm not there yet. So he doesn't even grab the dice out of there, okay? <laughs> Palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Man, I, I, I'm sorry for the cough, guys. It's, it's weird. He must damaged me. Yeah. So five points of damage to me. Yep. So he did five to her? Yep. I, I dropped the couch drop. Hang on. Oh, no. Max damage! Found it. Max damage! <laughs> and how much, to, the, how much to the incubus? Oh. Uh, 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 seven. I rolled another four and then a one. Gotcha. Right? So four <laughs> plus one, five. One plus one is two plus five. Seven. Got it. So, uh, Funny. so, Thera, you already marked off your five damage, right? Go ahead and Correct. make me your, your wisdom saving throw. <laughs> 22. So you succeeded in breaking his his charm and it kind of really even more pissed off than you were before because of you know what happened to you. I'll let you role play it how you want. But like you feel this, you're already feeling rage welling up inside you. And this guy kind of like, wow, you know, <laughs> I like a mental violation. And, um, um, but the cool thing is, now that you've made your save against this, you're immune to the effect for the next 24 hours. Oh, I was actually going to ask, am I immune to this? Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> cool. And, um... Uh, is it a fate or merit question? It, no, it's, it's, it's... Merit is still going. Right, I was going to ask you what else you're going to do, Merit. Yeah, uh, so then bonus action, I'm going to... Um, uh, transcend with Echo, um, mm -hmm. and then for the the visual of it all is uh, as I as I go to grab Echo uh, and transcend. As soon as I touch Echo, the magic missiles just dart off from him in the directions they need to. As I am going through that uh, that transcendence. Okay, very cool. Mm -hmm. um, cool looking. Uh, and then I will uh, move. I've 10, so I'll be standing at the head of the dead guy. So I'm just gonna kind of, kind of shift a smidgen. Yeah, not right there. Right there? Yeah. Or here? Uh, I, uh one back. First spot. <clears throat> yes. You in here? No. I think we had it right, right on his head, basically. Uh, sh sure, whatever. That works. Okay. <clears throat> All righty. Well done, sir. And uh, now, Thera, I'll you're give up. Give him the owl, like, <clears throat> head tilt. Oh, like a tell us, birdie head tilt. Yeah, tell us, uh, tell us how, <laughs> how she feels in this moment and, and how she reacts. <clears throat> it's okay, I'm gonna just show you by doing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to bonus action uh, do my radiant consumption. Okay. Um, I am now shedding a 10 foot radius spear you know, of uh, bright light. The, you know, I have light pouring out of my eyes and my mouth, and I'm just immediately just gonna get right up in his face, and I'm gonna start swinging. All right, are you gonna get right there, or do you wanna get to where other people can get into? No, like right immediately as close, like yep. fastest. Straight to him, does nothing, is standing in her, and I'm going to swing, swing. Sure. He is, by the way, he is technically a large because he's like nine feet tall, and, and so he's like stooped down, over hovering over you guys. Oh my goodness, here, America. Yotun's taller. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoops, that was purple. There we go. Okay, so 
The, uh, the raining consumption happens at the end of your turn, correct? Yes. Pretty sure. You know, there's something I've never actually asked. What the fuck does cocked mean when you've cocked a dice? Oh, uh, it's not laying flat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like, so if you roll it in your, in your little box and it hits the edge and it leans against the edge and so it's not actually on a number. Okay. That's part of the reason why I had to buy it. question about what it was, but I never actually confirmed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I had to change that from my uh, my old dice tray because it had a lip on the inside, so my dice would land on that lip a lot. And mm -hmm. technically it's like... Technically, it's clock, clocked. Clocked. Ew. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, go ahead and make your attacks. Uh, 18 to hit for the first attack. Uh, does not hit. What do you want to hit for the second one? Definitely hits. Okay. Nine points of damage, and okay. then at the end of my turn, he takes an additional three points of radiant damage. Yeah, I know the radiant. I know the radiant part. First of all, the the damage that you're doing is just uh, um, slashing, correct? From from Raven's slashing, Edge. Slashing, but but isn't Raven's Edge a magical weapon? So it is, right? I'm asking if it's slashing from Raven's Raven's Edge. It is slashing. Perfect. Just wanted to know if there was any other. Yeah, like, never mind. Mm. So nine, and uh, uh, <clears throat> and then you end your turn, and the end of your turn, some radiant damage. Three points of radiant damage. Yep, I got it. He uh. He kind of winces at the radiant damage. It doesn't look like it, it was more effective. He just obviously doesn't like it. <laughs> Is he blinded by the light? Hey! <laughs> Are his poor little devil eyes incapable of beholding the glory of Zira? Wow, keep dreaming. One day, that'll, one day that'll be true. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying. No, seriously, one day that might be true. <clears throat> um... Okay, well done. So Thera's done. Sindri, you're up, sir. Uh, you are right here behind to where I am. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good teamwork. Our kitty is the best. Um, seeing as I've done it before, I'm gonna cast a spell between Thera's legs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't actually uh, have to. Well, she's not enlarged, so you would technically be know. casting around her. Well, either ways, under her legs, around her, either ways, that's how I'll go for it. Okay. Right now. And I am going to cast Kill Touch. Okay. As I've not used it before, and he wants to see how it works. Necrotic damage. Okay. You create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of a creature. And I believe that's a that's a saving throw, not an not an attack spell. No, it, no, it's an attack spell. Yeah, it's an attack spell. Oh, okay. Yeah, make a range spell attack. Roll it, sir. It does not get there. It was a ten total. <laughs> Ten total, yeah. So your chill touch kind of uh, just peters out in front of his feet. Anything else? Um, I'll move into the corner that's to, like, as we look at Sindri too. Yeah, that corner. So I've got a better look at him, but people can still move around. Gotcha. By the way, um, this, yeah, this was that. sleeping bed. This was naughty fun bed. <laughs> <laughs> I can see all the, the difference in the naughty the front chains. bed. Looks a little dirty. <laughs> chains and whip. <laughs> Alright. Um, <clears throat> um, 
Hey. Yeah. Shay's turn. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Shay's gonna release Milo on top of the desk. You can move around. Five, ten. Sorry, Mister. Honey, she's talking to the dead guy. She steps over the body. <laughs> Sorry, Mister Corpse. <laughs> Sorry, Mister Mister Dead Guy. And um, she's going to uh, take a swing with her weapons. First attack with the new rapier. That's a 21. New rapier. Nice. It hits. Three. And then she's going to bonus action to hit with her other weapon. And that is the, the magic... The light mace. Plus Ma- one. It's okay. Gotcha. Yeah, that is a 25 to hit. For the second attack? Yes. <laughs> Both hit. Sweet. <clears throat> and, um... Yeah. Just tell me, you can go ahead and add all of your damages up. Oh, I get to add a d4 for the necromatic damage to... <laughs> necromatic. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Four. And seven is thirteen points of um, slashing and you, fi- you can add physical it all damage, and then two points of necrotic damage. So it's 13, 15 points altogether. Nice. And Milo's is gonna meow at him. Meow. <clears throat> okay. Uh, on his turn. He uh, he points at Merrick and in his head telepathically says, "That's a neat trick." And then he points at Shay and gives her the winky wink. So oh. go ahead and roll me a. Uh, oh wait, no, she's you still get advantage. That's fine. Um, you uh, you you get to roll at advantage. He's trying to charm you. Wisdom saving throw. Twenty three. All right. You uh, you shake it off. Let me see if <laughs> more like Shay goes icky. E. Yeah. You're immune to the effect. All right. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, would it be okay if because this is the second time he's done it, and the first time I was a little caught off guard, and I wasn't sure if it was a spell or an ability? May I make another Arcana check to determine if this is spell or ability, so that Merrick has a definitive of what that is? I wish I had the. You, know you can certainly tr- try shirt on, because yes, you can. <laughs> you can okay. try. Yeah, not necessarily. Maybe knowing what spell he's casting, but to identify. Okay, this is a charm. No, effect. I, I understand. You're trying spell? to determine yeah. what's yeah, going yeah. on, and and I, I'll, I'll tell you that there's a slim chance, but there's a chance. Oh no. What'd you, you get? Uh, I, uh, fourteen. I don't. Yeah, um, I, you're I not sure. He seems to keep, yeah. keep casting this charm spell. Um, mm-hmm. he, he's doing it without any uh, verbal or somatic components, though, which kind of impressed However, impressive. he did mention that was a neat trick, so this could be... Ooh. Never mind. Keep going. By the way, <laughs> he seemed to be referring to the fact that you ascended in... Uh, that, you tri- that you basically melded and merged uh, with your owl. <laughs> Damn. Not the subtle spell shit. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. It's his, uh, wait, his, his second thing that he can do. Um, yeah, he's gonna poke at the one who's done the most damage to him, which would actually be Shay. <laughs> Since she's already succeeded on not being charmed. Oh boy, that's a nat 20. Okay. Rot row. <clears throat> I got to do some maths here. Uh, 
Nat 20s happen. This is my reaction. Mm -hmm. One. Yeah, yeah, because we talked about that before. I see what you're doing. Can, can I, okay. Yeah. Never mind. It's not going to work because there's no other creature in the room. Well, not another creature you want to get hit. Yeah. Uh, I I know what you're trying to do. You're you. For, what's the name of the ability again? Does it specify a creature? It's a say. So it's the cloud rune. Um. A. Uh, in addition, when you are a creature you can see within 30 feet of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use your reaction to invoke the rune to choose a different creature within 30 feet of you other than the attacker. Uh, so it, if gonna... it didn't say the other than the attacker an part, attacker. she could yeah. redirect it back to the guy, but unfortunately. Yeah. 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 Um, and unfortunately, the uh, dead body BT is considered an object at this point. It's true. Yeah. Otherwise, yep. I, I was like, oh yeah, just destroy the, the dead thing already. Yeah. But, okay. I'm using, this is my first time using the uh, our new our new crit rule um, against the party. <laughs> <clears throat> Even though it's against, I still prefer this crit rule. I, I it agree. It makes a crit yeah, feel like a crit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you want me to add it all up or tell it to you separately? I'm going to tell it to you separately. So, uh, it's, you, 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 uh, and then I'll give you the whole add-on. Okay. Uh, add so first off, the uh, his sword that is hitting you with is going to be doing 13 points of damage. Okay. Uh, but hey, when really? he hits with uh, either his claw or his sword, he also inflicts psychic oh, damage. A... Uh, and in this instance, he did 24 oh, points of psychic ability. damage. And that's for the non, like that's for the the part I don't roll. Mm -hmm. So for the part that I did roll, he did another 10 points of the slashing damage and 15 points of the psychic damage. Nope, so effectively, you're looking at see, 37 plus 25, uh, 25. He did 62 points of damage to her. <clears throat> she is down. You guys see him wail into her, uh, in, into her, straight into her chest, and and Shay goes down. Uh, how many hit points did you have? Sixty-two. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I was I was subtracting as you were going through, and then you're like, yeah, clearly fifteen damage. I was like, I'm at zero. <laughs> That's why I dropped my character. <laughs> um. All right. And he's done. Now, granted, that was a crit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's not like he's going to do that much every time he hits. <clears throat> I know. Um, next is mm. medic. Yeah. Yep. He, the guy's grinning with uh, <clears throat> arrogance. <clears throat> Mm. Okay. Well, the last time that this happened, mm -hmm. part member goes down in front of Merrick. Merrick is really close by. Merrick does what Merrick does best. Lightning bolt. Fuck you, man. Uh, I will, so because it is a five foot, um, uh, wide blast. Um, oh. Can I at least uh, position myself in a way that I don't um, hit um, uh, Milo? Or would it clear Milo? There is no way you can hit him with Lightning Bolt without either hitting Milo or Shay. Position. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and then Merrick is gonna reevaluate because that's not um, that's no bueno. Um, biscuits. 
All right. Uh, I'm going to pull out the, the trusty catapult then um, with, the, uh, with an adamantine ball bearing. Roger that. Um, I'm going to use for the... We're going to see how this goes. <clears throat> Let's hope he fails his deck save. So you're gonna you're pulling out the adamantine ball bearings and hitting it with the uh, what should we call it? Uh, third level catapult. Third level catapult. Okay. Yep. And I believe it's a uh, saving throw, correct? Dexterity saving throw. Yes. All right. Dex save and the uh, the DC for that is what? Fifteen. Okay. if he succeeds does he take half or does he take none he takes none okay um yeah it's, basically it's the adamantine oh uh, just kind of it just barely misses him he dodges it just barely i guess <clears throat> gotcha um so just as a note um the side wall of the uh the uh this room yeah. gets hit with 5d8 bludgeoning damage so it, it's still gonna <laughs> you're, you're gonna see some impressive like oh yeah. shit like yeah, I so he literally dodged a bullet. Um, I'll uh, dis describe it if it's cool with you. What happens is yeah. you do your your thing where you. On this time, you're like not trying to be at. You're still flashy, but not as flashy. More like you just want yeah, to no, be like I'm, I'm, martial art direct. And the uh, you you do the thing where it you know you flick it just barely in the air in front of you and then accelerate it like a rail gun. And he just barely like he kind of just moves his head aside with a, with a kind of a surprised look on his face. And the thing impacts in the wall behind, shattering a big portion of the wood and, and creating a little crater in the wood. And it's kind of jammed and stuck in the wood there uh, with splinters and shards all raining out. And, uh, it, it, you know, the, the, the demon's eyes are like, hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> and then as a follow-up, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this. Um, I'm going to use my movement to go within melee range and use my Quicken spell to cast Shocking Grasp. And that's a cantrip, correct? That is a cantrip. So... It's a to hit. All right. Uh, and you're using, you're using uh, what to be able to cast the second spell? Uh, the, my quicken spell, right? Random magic spell. spell, right? You're yep. using and you're using up yep. points for that, or yes. Okay. Yes, I've used three total. I have three left. All right. Um, twenty to hit. That was a hit. Just yep. Nice. That's his so, ace. Twenty. Huh? I, I think his ace. So, no, go I, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm with you on that. Uh, so he takes two d8 lightning damage. Right. Hey, no saving throw um, for that, correct? No saving throw, um, and he cannot take reactions until the end of his next, until the start of its next turn. Right. Um, so 2d8, and then I, I imagine you know what I'm going to do next. Move back Just again? Back. Yeah. Um, ooh. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna do that. You wanna go a little um, farther back this time, or back to where you were at? No, I'm gonna go, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to where I'm at. Um, okay. uh, yeah. Uh, can you can you just confirm my double eights? Double eight. Look at those double eights. So max damage on the shocking grass. So we take 16 points of lightning damage. Yeah. So you hit him with the shocking grasp, and and uh, sorry to ruin your fun, but it seems like he he takes less than he should have. 
Okay. I mean, less than max damage is better than less than less than max damage. No, I agree, <laughs> definitely. But my point um, is, I'm sharing that with you yeah. because it lets your yeah. your character know this guy might be resistant to lightning. So, gotcha. Um, uh, <clears throat> okay, and then uh, we need to deal with Shay. Um, Huh? <laughs> that was actually uh, meant to be an inside thought. It just I know, came out. Sorry. I know, I know, but no, I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do a druid act. <laughs> I can't do it as good as she does. <laughs> actually, um, am I, if I, if I stand over Shay or like towards, if I move one space closer to Shay as if I'm like, being protective. So she's technically in this square. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you, she was here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when she fell, she's technically in this square. So you're saying mm -hmm. you want to move here? Yeah. It, am I still within range of him? I don't. I can't tell if he. When you say range, are you talking about melee range? Yeah. No. Uh, yes, okay. because he has reach. Then I would be outside of melee range. So. No. Your melee range. So you want to go back. You don't want to go right. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't particularly want to be within range, but I was trying to see if I could be closer to Shay without being in a threat. But that's not the case. Okay. Um, you you okay, okay. Nanner Lord? Yeah, I don't want to describe what just happened. Did you just shark? <laughs> no. Okay. He doesn't want to describe it. Aaron, are you okay though? Do you, you? Oh, I'll be fine. I just need a couple of seconds to come back around from that. Okay. Okay. Let us know what you need, brother. All right. <clears throat> uh. So. Yep. <laughs> do you need to go to the bathroom or something? No, you're good. You can't. No. <laughs> okay. All right. On. So, uh, that was uh, Merrick. Now it is Thera's turn. Yes. I... As if there weren't another reason to pile rage on top of rage for her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now she's down. <laughs> All right. First and foremost, mm -hmm. I'm going to attack. Yeah. Well, I'm double checking something first, though. Just so thinking. Funky. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Sorry, I, I was just double checking something. Okay, so I am gonna swing, swing first. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, Eighteen does not hit. Second, second attack. Twenty does hit. My okay. Um, just double checking. I have too much. Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna invoke my fire rune. Mm hmm. You need to make me a strength saving throw. DC No, first 16. tell us what it does. Instead of telling me what I need to do, tell me what the strength uh, rune does when you activate it and what does it look like after you tell us what it's supposed to do. Um, okay. Uh, What's it called? What's the effect called? It's, so it's called, it's the fire rune. So I'm, I'm invoking my fiery shackles to try to restrain him. Thank you, thank you. So, if I remember correctly, magical fiery shackles reach up out of the floorboards and grab hold of him. In theory, right? In theory. Yeah. And then, uh, and it the saving throw a... DC is what? And what kind of save is it? It is a strength saving throw DC 16. 
Strength saving throw DC 16. Uh, what are they made of? Just like fire. magical energy or fire? Like, is it do they do damage or anything? It does do damage. Gotcha. Uh, so he fails to save. Perfect. He is now restrained. Mm -hmm. He does take an additional 2d6 fire damage, but I imagine he's resistant, which is fine. Well, I'm you don't know. You don't know him. that yet. Roll your damage. And um, there's no if he if he fails if he fails the save, he takes all the damage. Um, he takes all. Yeah. If he if he had succeeded on his save, he would have taken none or, or some. When you hit a creature with an attack using a weapon, you can invoke the rune to summon fiery shackles. The target takes an extra 2d6 fire damage and must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained for one minute. While restrained by the, sh the, the shackles, the target takes 2d6 fire damage at the start of each of its turns. The target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, banishing the shackles on a success. So the fire damage only, it doesn't happen immediately, it only happens... No, it does happen immediately, okay. and it also happens... Yeah. Gotcha. So it happens immediately, and then on the end of his turn, if he doesn't save uh, with his new save. So go ahead and roll me a 2d6 so, fire. Yeah, so, the, so he takes the damage at the start of his turn, and then he can do the saving throw, which would end it at the end of his turn. Ah, so okay, he will. Gotcha. So at the start of his turn, he's still it. gonna take the damage. Yeah. So for the fire damage alone, mm -hmm. eight points of damage. All right. And you're right. It does seem like he is less affected by it than he should have been. Okay. And then um, my actual slashing damage. Mm -hmm. Fifteen points of damage. Then. I'm going to make my way over to Shay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to action surge. And for my action, I'm going to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me move you over to her. Uh, so currently there's no... So there's nowhere... Hmm. No, I, I guess just... you could go and crawl. This is a bookshelf. You could squeeze by. So you could go 5, can 10, 15, push 20, the 25. Desk out of the way? You can and she barely the desk. squeeze over here. So this is a desk, and, and Milo is sitting on top of it. So well, you, you can't really. Uh, you get there at the end. Yeah. So anyway, you can get there. So go ahead. You're using your action surge, and then you're going to use your action surge to. to use my healing hands. Roger that. To heal Shay for... Um, 3d4 is equal. So for 3d4. Six points of healing, Shay. Woo! Cool. Healing hands. Well, and, you're, and I'll say this too, because healing hands requires a touch, I believe. Um, yes. You, you can do the healing hands and give her a little shake at the same time to, to wake her up from her unconsciousness. Perfect. So on her turn, she will have six hit points and be awake. That's what Shay does when she heals Miss Thera. Mm -hmm. She yep. touches her and she's like, Miss Thera, wake up! <laughs> <laughs> My bonus action, once I see her eyes flutter open. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Forgot to move your. Uh... So her her eyes won't come open until her her turn though. It, uh, he's still within ten feet of me, right? Yes. Yep, so he takes another three radiant. <laughs> yeah. Um, <coughs> when you're done. And that will be it. That will be it. All right. That's it. <coughs> I 
Sindri, you're up. Okay, I am going to use my heightened spell to and cast slow at said douchebag. <laughs> okay, refresh my memory what Heighten does. Heighten gives him disadvantage on his saving throw for slow. Right. I remember what it did Not in 3.5, but I, I forget what it does in 5th bed, but that actually is super simple and easy to remember. I'll just forget a lot. <laughs> Alright, so he rolls a disadvantage. disadvantage and it's what's that kind of saving throw? It's a wisdom, wisdom saving throw, DC 16. Uh... Holy crap. Roll a 19 and a 17 on the die without any bonuses. Sorry. <laughs> my my dice didn't like you in that moment. <laughs> but Cinder is just gonna shout out, will you stop avoiding my shit? <laughs> disadvantage? He, he got a 19 on disadvantage? You rolled a 19, 19 and a 17. I rolled a 19 and a 17 on disadvantage. Oh, yes. 17 and still saves on 17. Got it. And that was before I added any bonuses. That was just the die rolls. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so Sindri's done too then? Yep, Sindri's done at that. All right, Shay. Uh, at this point though, like you're still, like this all happened, this is kind of happening all in the same round, uh, but uh, you went unconscious. Mm -hmm. You went down, like, like all, like as far as Milo goes, is like you could be dead, and this freaks him out. And without you issuing any kind of command, he immediately turns into his his uh, his uh, Drake self, and the desk basically cr breaks and crushes underneath him, <laughs> and. Uh, um, I'm gonna actually have him go before you just this round, but since you're gonna pop up and be conscious, mm -hmm. you'll get to retake control uh, going forward. But in this instance, have him make two attacks against the guy. Right, he has two attacks? Uh, yes, he's got a bite and a claw. Right. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I remember now what I was looking for. Bite, he gets a... Mm -hmm. Gets a plus two. Wait, no, plus four. Uh, twenty for the claw. We need to hit for the claw. Uh, yes. And then uh, twenty-one for the bite. Both hit. You guys are rolling hot tonight. I love Milo it. is super, super upset. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, shoot. I wish I had got to this before. Uh, this is this is fine. Uh, never mind. You cast a spell at him that was a saving throw. Never mind. Okay. So, uh, although you hit with both, you were technically rolling an advantage because a restrained creature <clears throat> attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Oh. So your your thing says res literally says the word restrained in it. Correct. Man, that's that's strong. <laughs> oh, so Milo has advantage? He already hit with both. But it's possible Milo could crit. Oh, good point. Yeah. Yes, he does have advantage. No, not with the first one. Not with the second one. Okay. Hey, at least you tried. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, 11 points of damage total from Milo. Uh, I rolled a 4 and a 3 on his on 2d4. Plus 4. I forgot if in his stats we count. I don't think at this stage. He's still in the baby stage. Yeah. And if we haven't added it to it, in the baby stage, his his attacks don't count as magical. Okay. So, uh... His attacks don't seem quite as effective as they could be. Oh, Shay doesn't know. <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, yeah, because she's still just, yeah, yeah but barely getting up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Well, he would know, though. Yeah. So... He's like, he'd be irritated that his claw and his bite didn't do as much damage as, as, as he thought it would. <clears throat> He's... <laughs> All right. Um, so now you actually get to take your turn. <clears throat> Miss Thera woke you up with a heal. 
It's now a, a nice little role reversal. <laughs> Shay looks up at Miss Dira. This is different. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? It's so different. That's Shay great. gets up. Mm -hmm. She's like, what? I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> you want to do it or shall I? Um, I'll reach it. It's okay. easier for me, I suppose. Um, that hurt. So half your movement is used up to stand mm -hmm. up. Um, I was all ready to argue with Stormy if he's like, make me a death save. I'd be like, no, 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 I'm at zero. It says I'm stable. No death saves. <laughs> <laughs> I was all ready. <laughs> Page up and everything. Oh. I just love it. The argument prepared. <laughs> wow. What are you doing? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Since when are you a rule Nazi? <laughs> I didn't know I'd have to roll a death save. I think you only roll a death save if, if you're below zero, right? Yeah. Well, actually. Because he hit me for exact hit points. I was at zero. And what does it say on that page? It says, a stable creature doesn't make death saving throws even though it has zero hit points. It does so, remain unconscious. Being at zero doesn't necessarily mean you've been stabilized. If you remember correctly, see, she's getting a little confused between 3.5 and 5e. In, in uh, 5e, you don't go down into the negative unless you're counting towards a total instant kill. Right. The only time you count in the negative is if they do enough damage to double your hit points, right? Backwards into the negative. But uh, in 3.5, you actually have to count your hit points down into the negative. And then when you get to negative 10, you're dead. But uh, in 5e, your hit, when you go down and you're unconscious, you're at zero hit points. And so you technically would have made a death save on your turn, unless somebody comes over and does the help action to stabilize you with a medical kit or something, or hits you with a spell like she did, or spell True. effect. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, Jay's gonna use this turn to cast a second level cure wounds on herself. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So she gets 2d8. My other d8. There it is. 2d8 plus 3. What up, monkey? Um, Oop. been sat on my leg for like the last 40 minutes and he's just got there and my leg's like oh <laughs> I gave myself back 10 hit points so I'm at 16 cool let's go let's go and anything else on your turn um no okay Um, it's now Inky's turn. Um, so, uh, the, he takes the damage. Nine um, points of fire damage. The fire damage? Yeah. Mm hmm. Fire. Uh, You rolling it there, there, Druid? Nine points of fire damage. Okay. Um. Oh. What? Interesting. What? We gotta remember to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we were supposed to totally remember this. Well, we're about to get to uh, the point where we have our break anyway. Um, so, uh, it's in fact, this is a perfect time since we're at the top of the round before he, he decides what he does. This is a, we're right in the middle of uh, where we take our break. But before we actually take our break, um, we are announcing the winner of the dice giveaway that we started last week. Um, heading over there to check it out. 
<laughs> Our very own Yoten Red Wolf was the winner of the yeah. dice giveaway. <laughs> Autonomous. I don't know if you're oh. still here right Hey, Raz. Uh, I don't know no, if you're still um, here right now, Jotun, or if you're lurking. Um, but uh, regardless, he's, Druid and I will be reaching out to you and, and uh, getting uh, getting some info to uh, get that, that dice. Get get the, 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 the dice to you. Yes, Mer uh, Fate. Uh, do you want me to uh, type it in this chat right now? <laughs> oh, what is he streaming? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what is he streaming? <laughs> uh. What? Warhammer 40k. Uh, I dropped my board. <clears throat> okay. Um. I got this. I got this. Okay. Yeah, I got the Discord notification on my phone. And I was like, oh, Discord. And I was like, Oh, hey, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm glad you got the notification, because uh, Druid and I kind of forgot about it soon. <laughs> the thing is, is like, I was like, I feel like I should be paying attention to something. Like, I feel like we're getting really close to a time frame. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I found it. Is, uh, is yeah. Tilty in, in the stream tonight? Well. No. Mm. No. No. It's okay. Whoops. What did I do? Get out of it. Don't click that. Just click. Just click in the. Click off the arrow. Click the one anywhere there. Yes. Um. Kieran. Thank Kieran you for the Kieran Picado, which the 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 resub for twelve months. Thank you, brother. That's an honor and a treat, sir. <clears throat> Welcome in. Welcome in. <clears throat> so, uh, everyone go check out Kieran Chicago. Uh, he, he is a fellow streamer of Stormkeep. Um, amazing human being. We love him dear. But he's also been on Bandwidth and Banter. <clears throat> um, so, yep. Has he reacted? Did he say anything? Well, I guess you yeah. can't hear him, so. Yeah, of course I there can. There was, uh... There was a brief moment of panic as to wait, what, 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 who, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's funny. Hey, don't, don't tell me that while I'm fighting the Imperials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said, I'll tell you later that you won. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Hi, Dad. Alrighty, well, um,. What do you guys think? Are you uh, uh, ready to uh, yeah. take a quick break, yeah. a snack, yeah. bi and bio yeah. break? Mm -hmm. All right. All you yeah, wonderful absolutely. folks, I, I saw you sneaking in here. We got Simpra. We got Lord Alex. We got Havoc. Freaking, uh, oh yeah, look at you. We got the Lady Lord of uh, Coffee Corpses. That's my new nickname for her. <laughs> Very, very cool. Don't be. <laughs> Good to see thee. <clears throat> oh, the Razzlemataz man. He too has been to on uh, Bandwidth and Banter and Le Legacy of Lowmasters. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to go chat. Uh, we're going to go to take our break. And I'm going to leave you guys with our entertaining intermission. Uh, enjoy the comedy hijinks. We'll be back in just about 10. Montage to entertain you. It's going to be a montage. <laughs> Someone clip that. <laughs> That's clever. Man, high five me. <laughs> Do it like... Which time? Hey, uh, right? yeah, uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say I was 100% not trying to remake that clip, but I genuinely had no freaking idea because this is a new scene. <laughs> someone, someone, someone clip that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck. <laughs> Brother's like, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me, let me help you. Let me help you. Uh, uh, blessings of goo upon you. Let me give you guidance. <laughs> it's an extra D four, right? I hope someone clips that. Uh, yeah, I believe it's. 
It's an extra D4 for guidance, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Also, thank you for the 50. I dropped the dice. All right, 18. I'm gonna do this. Here. Are you doing the monkey toes thing? <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we all saw that. Oh, I'm sure somebody's gonna <laughs> clip it $5. now. Five dollars? No, just... Huh? That'll be five dollars? Thank No, just kidding. Has come in handy. Somewhat. I didn't know fighting would be this much fun. I'm looking forward to what happens next. P.S. Journal? Why does Miss Thera's sword call her Dom Mommy? I'm not sure I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I muted. I knew I had to oh myself. My <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. I broke everybody, including me. Sir, every week. Oh my god. Thank you. <coughs> oh man. Did Athletics <laughs> check to keep from being pushed back by the momentum of a 40 pound you know, sack of gnome being thrown at you. <laughs> sack of gnome. Uh, at least you didn't uh, say the gnome uh, sack. <laughs> gnome sack. Oh, that's funny, because yeah. that's what I was about to say. Someone yeah, don't that. <clears throat> Ow. And the Ow. Ross moment Stop has ended. Stop eating my butt. Freaking chair. Thera's gonna walk up next to Sindri and just look down at him and go, uppies? It was, it was, uh, you know, you, it's weird because it's your your you feel it, but you feel it coming from it. It's not like you felt it; you felt the experience of it, and it's the same kind of relief of, "Wow, I've been working so hard out in the field, and I'm so hungry." And you eat a meal, or I just, you know, had some great sex. It's just one of those kinds of feelings. <laughs> it's just like, oh, let <laughs> me see how short Druid is in your chair. <laughs> Say less. This is, Here, this is, let me, I love it. This no, is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I, I do want to oh, say I love the scarf you've chosen for today, buddy. It looks amazing. It's oh, damn. You're tall. Very tall. Very, yeah. very, tall. <laughs> very fashionable. Holy crap. Wow. It really does cut off like It looks like you're so far head. in the background. We're <laughs> just only right there. She looks miniature look, now. Like she's, it looks like a joke. Like she's like a half a mile this. behind you. Jay yes. has a super semi unimportant well. question not related to anything. Yes, Shay. Absolutely. What is milk toast? <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, that is a. <laughs> that is a good question. I don't know what milk toast is. Not a clue. What? You guys are a bunch of ignoramuses. <laughs> milk toast is toast drowning in milk. Glowing a bluish color. And uh, it's built the into color. it's built into the uh, the wall sconce as well. The same color, the em same blue Emily glove. And Emily and turns to look at the, yes. uh, the the wall sconce and go, "Hey, Fern." And it doesn't give off any heat. <laughs> Fern is sneaking up towards the top behind Miss Ray. I'm like, Fern, is this the same color? It is the same color. It's the same blue glow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for indulging us there, Druid. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> she was the one who screwed him over twice. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, totally. <laughs> he, he hates her most of all. And, uh, uh, yeah. Did you see the little <laughs> spider legs go? <laughs> <laughs> you see a little, little spider poop come out? <laughs> oh, you made me silk. <laughs> Inflict wounds, chromatic orb, burning hands, armor of Agathis, command, entangle, thunder wave. Why would anybody want their hands to burn? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was all right no. with that until I saw it just like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Because I almost just. Star Kitty laughing at her own joke. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I almost spit coffee everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> I was laughing Shay, at the reaction. Shay, Shay, listen. So you have 
defeated. The, oh, and I didn't even, I didn't even whip it out. I meant to, I went to, I had, I had, a, I had a figure for the scarecrow. It's not an actual scarecrow, but it looks kind of like a scarecrow. I'll show it off. Yeah. I did? Yes. Just whip it out, baby. And I think I know what yeah, comment yeah, it is. It's, it's, yeah. it's an about pride. <laughs> All right. Just wait to breeze. I think you broke Aries too. I think Aries broke Aries. <laughs> the wang of Stormkeep. What? Can we get that on a t-shirt? Can I yeet the gnome? So it depends on where you want to yeet, but yes, you could yeet him. Directly you could yeet him over to him Merrick. to catch, or you could straight, yeet him to one of these Merrick. squares. No, I, I want directly at Merrick. Tonight's episode 74, um, well, comes about because of last week's episode 73. <laughs> and so, <laughs> wow! And the okay, you uh, yeah, for that one. That's right. So, okay, Storm is still processing. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm still processing that I need to get with my producer and get this one fired. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> What are you talking about? I am a producer. Oh, right. I don't know if you can use the processing ability. Oh, he tricked me. <laughs> Damn it. I applaud you, BT. I applaud you. <laughs> what a dick. Uh, yeah, I'm going to touch the tip. Too. You're going to touch the tip? <laughs> You're going to touch the tip. <laughs> Just yeah. the tip. Just the tip. So, yeah. the tip of your finger to the tip of the sword, tip to tip. Uh, <laughs> you give it a little poke. Because we're so excited. Okay. <laughs> God, someone's going to clip this. I fucking know it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and, uh,. Okay, this is Spartan talking, okay? The best part about this is that you could put a little dice in his mouth. And it looks like Spartan would be. You can't really tell. Stop to hide your face. <laughs> I'm about to spit my tea out. You're gonna get along with Merrick really well, I think. <laughs> Shay's just kind of standing there. Going, oh, yeah, I'll get along with Merrick. I'll get along. He's good. He's good. He's a good guy, I guess. You know, I like. He's got that creative flair for shit. You know, I like. I like the creative people. They got the impulse. You know, they got that creative juices flowing. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, man, yeah, definitely. And uh, oh, look at this. I love, I love my new master. She's awesome. Look at it. She's just tough on everything. She's my dummy mommy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then over there, <laughs> oh my God, look at, look at that sexy little beast. Look at that, look at that se sexy little Cindery. Look at you, boy. You're so hot. I bet you got a third leg under there, don't you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Awesome. Yes, yes, oh he is. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> shit. How dare you fuck shit? I will end you. <laughs> uh, now the, the creature, it goes <laughs> Lord of potatoes. You know, it, it, it took me a, a moment to uh, to process this. Uh, yep, I said it, I said it. But, but, <laughs> but. I just had this intense urge to just like pet you. Like, this. Choose of thoughts. I just can't right now. <laughs> As she says that to you, and you all are pro processing what you're experiencing, <laughs> um, the uh, the uh, <laughs> I got myself on I that mean, it's, one. It's the best word for it, though. <laughs> um, <coughs> the thirteen. Considering we would considering. be. Correct. Because you know how hard it is to get this I know, accent. I know. I'm sorry. I love me. you. I struggle I love you. with I'm it. I'm sorry. I struggle with it so much that I do it on my outside of this. That's how I was with Tom. I know. Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys are my the amazing. Color blue. <laughs> this like... is what I've been seeing. It's the same color. It's the same blue one. 
Someone it's the same that. green. It's the same green hair. Oh. <laughs> you guys should try high fives again. We're good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. Oh. I got it. That time. Boom. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back again. Um, the perfect timing, right at the end of the intermission. It's interesting, there must be some setting, in intermission one, I have the settings somehow set where it will loop and repeat itself. But I didn't have that set up for intermission two, and I don't know what setting I did where it doesn't. But I'm kind of glad that it doesn't because it just goes black, and that's perfect for us to know when we gotta come back. <laughs> that's fair. I know what setting if you need help. Oh, okay, I might just leave it as is. Like I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Hey, Tom Foolery. <laughs> Spiper, good day to me. I have no idea no. why I always do that accent for Spiper, <laughs> but <laughs> there's something about his Can name. Spiper, it brings it out in me. <laughs> Viper's, Viper's lucky he gets the special intro from Stormy. There's the puppers. Yeah. I will respond with puppers. Robo Ninja sometimes gets one too. I, I like to see him that weird song that I somehow made up. <clears throat> you do puppers and I will uh, retaliate with a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Who's Caddy? Who's whose kitty is that one? Aria. Oh, Karen's right cat. on. That's cool. Don't forget that Star Kitty has some too. <clears throat> now too. <clears throat> You're in combat, cat. <laughs> we need that. We need. I can't wait to see what we come up with in the future. It's gonna be neat. All right. Well. It's okay. I'll do the I'll do Star Kitty's day, processing, so. cat. <laughs> I'll do Star Kitty's processing cat. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's awesome. His yeah, big it's black eyes. Processing. Eyeball. Processing. Mm. I'm not going to say it. You're not going to trick me. <laughs> processing. There's, there's also this one for processing that I made recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm so thankful that you stumbled in. Um, fun fact, we did learn that you are a, I raise you all with goblins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I forgot what I was saying. It's gone. It's gone. It left. That tomfoolery is a streamer. Is that where yes. you were going? Yes. Yeah. Tomfoolery is a streamer. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, ditto. We are glad that you stumbled earlier. upon us as well and just dropped mm -hmm. you follow. That's when I followed him. Yeah. That's when I followed him. So, welcome yeah. in, tomfoolery. <clears throat> we like to collect streamers. Yes. Yeah, easiest yeah, way yeah. to know if someone is a streamer look at the remotes that they use you just be like yep and I see clear, Tom, when we so say collect streamers enough. we're not necessarily talking about streamers and storm keep but just in in our in general we in our in our you know it's many circles of many communities we like to to embrace and hug and in uh you know the rising Those tide lifting all boats there we go. although we actually also do uh like <laughs> you know, collect streamers into the into the streamers of Stormkeep. <clears throat> they become the lords of Stormkeep. <clears throat> yeah, they finally convinced me to start streaming on my own. Mm -hmm. It didn't take convincing. You did it on your own. What are you talking about? I'm trying well, to lay I mean, that on us. No, no, no. It's, it's, <laughs> it was Druid going, yeah, whenever Star Kitty starts to stream. She yeah, didn't. whenever Star yeah. Kitty starts to start streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a bully. I just, you know. Pretend that you, you, you just play it. one <laughs> IRL. Right. I'm not a bully. I just play one IRL. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, Tom Fuller, I, I, I sympathize with that. Same. That's why I only stream once a week and that's on Mondays. Mm. Yeah. No and all of our stream <laughs> sense have been great. I could actually stream more if I put my mind to it. Oh, Tom Fuller, I'm, I'm both s sorry that it takes you away from us, but uh, if you like your job and it's better for you, then I'm happy for you too. <laughs> Ban the bot. Ban the See bot. See beat it. Oh, he beat me to it. Damn, BT, you're so fast. Oh, so yeah, instead of clicking on their name, if you click that, yeah. Oh, I could have gone straight yeah. to that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, if you do start streaming Pathfinder, let us know. I will be lurking in your stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'm absolutely. the master lurker of Stormkeep. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> facts. Absolute <laughs> facts. All right. So, uh, are, are, is everybody ready to get back into the action? One, one more yeah. time, congratulations, Yoten Red Wolf, for winning the uh, dice giveaway. We'll be reaching out soon. I know he can't hear this, but you know, uh, we'll be we'll be getting to getting with you and getting with Never Tilted to get that the, the, those dice out to you. Um, well, cool. And to plug Never Tilted one more time, check this out. Oh, it's a big, big uh, liquid core D twenty. It's it's purple. yeah. It's cool. If you go to ChimeraCollectibles.com, mm -hmm. um. And use the code STORMKEEP15. You get 15% uh, off your purchase. They are excellent dice. Um, and he's my spiritual twin, so it also just makes me feel good. Um, and I, I don't know. Do you have Do you have him in your about section, Stormy? I have who in my about section? Never, Never tilted. tilted. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think uh, I don't think I added him. Huh? Yeah, if you want a quick link, you can go to my about section, and you could find the quick link to his shop. Link? Has I a will minion. actually, I'll get it for you right now. I'll get the link right now. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Whoa! Are we sure that's a minion and not just uh, another uh, banana in disguise? It's Nebu's avocado minion. Mm. <laughs> yep. So here's the link to Chimera Collectibles, which is the dice shop ran by Never Tilted, and it's his business. Um, he handcrafts all of the dice, hand pours, hand paints, and does all that jazz. Um, and again, if you, use, if you use the code STORMKEEP15 at checkout, you get 15% off your entire purchase. Mm. Very cool. Very cool. Peace. Okay. Just supporting our friends. Mm -hmm. That's right. Honestly, I I need to. I didn't realize that that was something we, we had talked about, uh, putting it in our about section. So, a uh, good idea. It's not something, it's not something that we talked about really. It's just that I, I did it because, you know. Yeah. My gotcha. favorite thing to do is just is to promote my friends' businesses. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Hey, DYS family. Yep, he was here earlier. I was giving him hugs. Mm. All right, let's uh, get back to it. It's the it's the bad guy's turn. You guys have been putting the putting the smack down on him. Um, Layeth the he is, smack of down. Uh, currently, under this magical restraint, um, he's not We're going to. Chat dark. Love you, chat. Oh yeah, sorry. We went to chat dark to get back into it. We uh, he, he is currently in, in a state of uh, state of mind where he doesn't want to leave it to chance whether he can get out of this or not. So he does something shocking that you're not you did not expect to be able to lit like um, none of you expected a demon to be able to do this, but he suddenly becomes ethereal. And um, let me see what his mood is. <clears throat> Very clingy today, Nabu. You're clingy, you're going to be my bunkers. <laughs> I just wish the bird would be chill for long, even when I talk, because she's been big chilling when I, you know, just sweatshirt. I don't know. So, <clears throat> you see him in, his, in this it kind of. Uh, he basically suddenly becomes this translucent and kind of shimmery as if he's not completely in this plane of existence and, and uh, um, suddenly just kind of ignores you guys pa passing through every you guys um, and 
He does move down the hall. Um, and let me see if, if it's an action or a bonus. Just a sec. <laughs> And never sat down on the leg again. Uh, so he became material as a bonus action, so he's gonna actually take the disengage. This door, I didn't draw it that way, but this door you guys left open during your conversation. But the crew had shut these two doors. And uh, he passes right through them, and of course, now you don't know where he's at. And uh, as he, uh, you know. He doesn't even bother grinning or anything. Um, and that is his turn. Merrick. Can give me a 40 foot of movement? I'm double checking. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna use all my movement. Okay. I'm gonna follow him. Okay. I got 40 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Um, so the doors are shut. Uh, you said you're gonna use all of your movement, which is 40 feet, correct? Mm hmm. Um, let me check something. Yeah, okay. I think like, in the past we ruled that like opening a, an unlocked door is a bonus action, um, but just want to double check that. <laughs> what did you say, Druid? I thought I said I always thought it was a free action, but no, I, I don't remember. There's nev it's a, it, never, it's it's it never would be a free action because you actually have to take a motion. I mean, I could argue that it takes up some of your move or that it takes up your bonus action. It's going to be one of those two things, um, or depending on what the rules actually say. Um, wait a minute. Hmm. What are you doing, monkey? Interesting. Cooper. All right. Uh, Oops. from what I'm seeing, uh, opening or closing a door can be done uh, as part of a move action. And since it literally tells you, it sa says it that way, the way I'm going to interpret it uh, from my point of view for our campaign is it'll use up, uh, assuming the door is, is, you know, unlocked, right? It's just thing that you can interact with. I'm going to say it'll use up five feet of your movement to open the door. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So, and you were, I believe, here. Yeah. yeah. Five, 10, 10, 15, yep. 20, 25, 30, 35. Uh, in your last five to open up the door. Which you uh, could also take the dash action if you want, I believe. Uh, oh, yeah, but you want to you want to see something first. Yeah, let me open up the door. Yep. <clears throat> um, you see some of the crew out here, they're all, they're all not looking at you, they're looking kind of slightly up, as if they're looking at something on the, um, Get what this part of the back of the ship would be, where the where the oh, the, um, the wheel is and stuff. But yeah, the stern, right? No. The stern, but it's also oh. the uh, <laughs> the command deck, right? The 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 yeah. control deck, and yeah. they're looking kind of up with strange, like kind of astonished eyes. So apparently, when he moved out, he didn't just move. Out. He moved up and back, and you can't see him from where you're at now. <clears throat> uh... Oh, 
by the way, I forgot to say to everybody, enjoy the show and do <laughs> Um, I will use my action uh -huh. to uh, move out about 20 feet. Forward. All right, so you, you want to uh, uh, action dash. dash, correct? Uh-huh. And you can move out 20 feet? About 20 feet, yeah, uh -huh. straight up. Um, if I were to turn around, would I be able to see him? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Technically, since he's like in the deck above, what I'll do is I'll just put him elevated. Like, he's not this yeah. high up, but you get the idea. You know, I got you. I got you. He basically is uh, standing in front of the wheel. And, uh, <laughs> hmm. he is, um, Still ethereal. Um, how much does Merrick understand about being ethereal? Roll me an arcana, arcana check. <coughs> it's cocked. The DC is going to be pretty high, but of all of the cla of all of the uh, the the worlds. Um, you and Shay would probably have the most knowledge, although Shay's knowledge is still very limited, and she just basically tells people never go ethereal, <laughs> at least not on her world. No go, um, no we're mm -hmm. going. But you're, you, you could potentially have studied it while you're at the academy, even though your your tenure there was very short lived. <laughs> um, so what did you get? Twenty three. Um. It's kind of advanced knowledge. My, I was setting the DC pretty darn high, um, so you missed it by a couple. Um, I will say that you know what you know about etherealness is that there's like uh, an a, a kind of an ethereal plane of existence that exists on top of this one, uh, and mm -hmm. that you you do know that like ghosts and spirits and stuff typically uh, can you know go in and out. Like you definitely learned that while you were on. Mm -hmm on uh, Haunt Home, right? Mm -hmm. So you understand that much. Um, I'm trying to remember, because I'm sh pretty sure you had rolled some knowledge checks on the topic when you were in Haunt Home. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, you know what? I think, I think I'm think i gonna, I'm gonna give you a bonus to, to, to boost it up and, and, and you know, Basically, you got, I'll say you got there with your role. Just because you have some previous experience dealing with ethereal creatures, uh, okay. and you have, you would, uh, your character would have taken a little bit of time when you were, I mean, you didn't really have very much time, but you did have a little bit of time. I can see where you might have, like, when you got back in between the two missions, would have done a little bit of research on ethereal stuff. So you didn't, you yeah, know. Yeah, pull up the Oracle or in transit. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, okay. uh, so um, you do know like, that ethereal creatures are kind of on a different plane. Uh, almost mm -hmm. nothing can affect them except, um, you know, like force effects can affect them. Force effects can affect them? Yes, can affect them. That's about the can. only thing that can affect. Or if you have some sort of a special magical item that that ex can exist on the ethereal plane or if you move into the ethereal plane you know these are the kind of things that you know you can it can affect it but um got it uh, um so you also then, know sorry uh, to interrupt you also know that he could have technically just if he got up i mean you're you're you're, you're getting to the idea like he couldn't have possibly had enough move could he to have have run around so you get the sense that he went up so you're thinking to yourself, man, why didn't he just go straight up to begin with? But uh, now you see that he's, uh... yeah, no, I, I, anyway, that's what you see. 
So uh, with my knowledge of ethereal, mm -hmm. um, even though no force damage would work, what about psychic damage? Nope. Well, hang on, let me think. It's a mental thing. No, I know it's a mental thing, but it doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. mean that you can target not. them since they're technically not on your plane, uh, even though you can kind of visualize them. While on the ethereal plane, you can only affect and be affected by other creatures on that plane. Creatures that aren't on the ethereal plane, I guess technically speaking. Uh, so... Hmm. If I, I guess... I guess I mean, maybe it's the same way in 3.5. I'll, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't see uh, characters or players use etherealness very often. Um, I know force effects can actually affect like ghosts and stuff that are partially ethereal. Um, let me let me double check some some uh, 5e ruling because I might be wrong about. Etherealness is a spell you can take, and for him, it's a it's a natural ability. Uh, it's possible you might not be able to interact with him at all, but if that's the case, then you may you know, he would have just vanished. But let me double check. Um, I'm just going to see if there are any kind of conversations, rulings online about whether um, magic missile. Can affect someone under the uh, etherealness spell. Hmm. I'm so glad I got you with that. <clears throat> Hi, Silver. Ooh, ha. Huh? <clears throat> did he? Did he just break it? He did, didn't he? But that's okay. We're gonna kind of a, just a set figuring stuff out. Um. I mean, I always look at chat anyway. But since we're quiet, I figured I'd. Say no, hi. yeah, I, was, I get it. Because <laughs> yeah, this was a good time to say hi. Um. Damn it, BT! <laughs> yeah, some wolves don't like to be shouted out. I know. <clears throat> That's why I do it every single time I see her. <laughs> it's my stick. <laughs> ah, I, I see where I've confused confused myself a little bit. So being being a, a, ethereal and being incorporeal are two different things. So uh, a ghost is a creature that can become incorporeal, which means that they're partially uh, on the ethereal plane, which is why they can be affected by force effects. Um, uh, so in this instance, he's still currently ethereal. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of, I think I'm, I've sort of broken, bended the rules about. Let me double check another conversation. Here. Yeah, from my understanding, if he was, if he was ethereal, we wouldn't be able to see him at Correct. all. Correct. Yeah. If he's that's... on the ethereal plane. Your time ran is what the greatest of the most, and you can be tall. Yeah, and it literally says creatures that aren't on the ethereal plane can't perceive you and can't interact with you unless a special ability or magic has given them the ability to do so. Like um, true sight. Yeah. So, yeah, true sight would do it um, for sure. Um, and so, yeah, um, I, will, I guess I'm glad we talked about this because uh, this and is the first time I've actually. Him. 
uh, used a monster that had etherealness as an ability, and I was getting it a little confused with incorporealness, but all right. I'll say we I'll say it like this. He went ethereal. So he in in you guys' vision, he just vanished and the magical shackles just kind of dissipated because there was nothing to hold on to anymore. But then uh, once because that's a bonus action, he moved while ethereal to the to the doors, right? Um and actually he would be smart. He would just go right through them ethereal. But once he got up top, he wants to be able to interact. So he would be in physical form. Excellent. Proceed. Okay. Let me see. Well, but he can't. He 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 uses action to dash. If it's a bonus action to, to turn ethereal, it'd be a bonus action to turn back. So, technically speaking, you you come out and we'll just sort of retcon a little bit since uh, maybe there was a little confusion on my part. Uh, you come out and you see their reaction. They're looking at each other as if they saw something weird. Uh, it, and it, it was, no, they wouldn't have even seen anything either. Imagine. Yeah, uh, so the crew is just busy working. <laughs> you come out the doors and uh, or you open the doors there and the crew is busy working. Thank you guys for your patience and understanding while we... Uh... How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> well, and this is, this is why I love this crew because they're understanding about us figuring stuff out together. Especially, and they're very understanding the fact that I, I, my brain gets confused between 3.5 and 5e. Although I'll bet you that 3.5 is the same way, because I just haven't really experienced it through illness that much. Anyway, go ahead, guys. <clears throat> okay, so. Or I should say, Mary, what are you going to do? You open the doors, the crew's out there working. Wait, whose door is it? <laughs> it's mine. Yeah. yeah. We had a retcon. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I guess the most appropriate thing for Merrick to do would be like, where the fuck is he? Mm. Just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, <clears throat> yeah. Did you not action dash? It, it wouldn't have made sense for me to dash to try to see if no if right. no one was looking up. It wouldn't make sense. Like I come out and like he disappears, and the first thing I do is like I assume that he's trying to run. So if he oh no actually, you might assume that he's invisible, huh? I'll totally let you back everything up. This was totally my bad, guys, and I appreciate so, our audience being understanding. Like. Uh, may, even though I've been doing I this ask. for 40 plus years, even the most veteran DM can uh, get a rules mistake, uh, you know, mistakes happen. May, yeah. Before before you before you move me, may mm -hmm. I ask for a potential stretch? Uh, this is a, I can certainly try. Okay. Okay, so being that I'm currently bonded with Echo in the, this particular form. Yeah and Echo has been alluded to being celestial, yeah. would there be, no? Would there be oh, any oh, possible yeah. way that I would be able to No, I appreciate the stretch, that, yeah. but I'll tell you yeah. what, cool. even though that no, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't apply, I yeah, thought of something great. that could work. I'm gonna have you okay. roll your um, Arcana, because okay. when he uses etherealness ability, mm -hmm. Um, there's a subtle difference between go, you know, vanishing to go into another plane versus vanishing because mm -hmm. you cast invisibility on yourself. So I'm going to give you a chance of knowing the difference. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. 16. Oh, sorry. I, I Ooh, wasn't making yeah. it too yeah. hard. No. It was, the DC was yeah, a 20. No. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. 
Um, so then I would be uh, back to where I was. I wouldn't have uh, necessarily moved like that. Right. Um, <laughs> so then the doors um, leading out would be closed. Correct. I'm going to leave him like that because I'm sure at some point someone's probably going to go out there. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so it's Thera's turn. Um, she saw Mar the guy so vanish. Mar Mar she doesn't have the knowledge there. required to be able to tell the difference between ethereal and invisible. So she would assume he became invisible. Oh my god, we just got a raid? So, so technically, with all the retcon, technically, mm -hmm. it's still Merrick's turn. Because he only so because we record. Oh yeah, the whole true. Thing. He hasn't done anything yet. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry. he hasn't done anything. Yeah. I, I um, apologize. I'm, we just messed that all up. That whole turn gotcha. is. So I have no <laughs> idea what happened. Rewind. I don't know if he cast invisibility or or not. Right. Just want to clarify. Correct. You do not know. And hi, Baba. Thank you for the raid. Big stormy hugs to you. Hug the wolf. Mm. Hug the wolf. Another streamer, Stormkeep. Mm -hmm. I've dropped the cast for any new raiders that are curious as to who everyone is. Aw, thank you, BT. Normally fate does it, but it's his turn and he's thinking about stuff. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> um... Okay. Uh, okay. So I will. I will move okay. towards the the door that's already open, mm -hmm. but still facing inward because I have no idea. I'm just kind of repositioning at this point. And not, yeah. Try not to cluster up. Do you want to try and block the door uh, or not? No. Uh, take it one step forward instead of back. Yeah. So, where where I was in front of the door the first time. It would and be blocking the door. Step, and then one step forward, so I'm not blocking the door. So I'm going to go ah. past the door frame. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, uh, most appropriately, since I don't know where he is and I have no idea, or whether he's still in the room or not, uh, I will <laughs> show your face, you fucking coward. There you go. Here, you're up. That ends my turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you done? <laughs> no, that ends my turn. I thought so. I thought so. Here. No, no, no use to waste a resource. Uh I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go search for him out there. And I'm gonna just take my movement towards the closed doors. Okay. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Action dash. 35, 40, 45 open to open. Yep. Yeah, she kicks the door through. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a, definitely a kick. Um, open the door. Is it a Flavor. kick or are you it's opening it. the doors? Because a kick means you're trying to break them down. Which is, would be an I'll action. You've already action. I'll just open okay. the door. Right. And... You open them forcefully. How's that? <laughs> Assertively. Um, yeah. And I believe you and have 10 gonna... feet left. Yeah, and then I'm just going to walk straight out. Okay. So, you look around, the crew sees you, and they're just working, and they see you come out. And... Uh, Can I... And then, can I say something as well? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Free action talk. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a demon to board your ship. He murdered your captain. Okay. Um, where are you? She a second. Uh, persuasion? Go ahead and roll me a persuasion check. <clears throat> Oh, 
11. Okay. My light's I'll definitely roll me too. For each of them. Oh my god. All right. So both of these guys are utterly convinced that what you said is true, and this guy is is like that seems sketch to me. <laughs> Does it change the fact that I'm my eyeballs and my mouth is glowing and I'm like radiating light? Oh, that's and stuff right. You're everywhere. still radiating your thing, yeah. And it, that's not a concentration, right? No, it is not. And it lasts for how long? One minute. Okay. I'm tallying, so. Yeah, yeah. I know you are. Um, so. Just because your eyes are glowing w wouldn't mean that they were good. It would be make, make you more convincing. In fact, these are kind of, you know, <laughs> they're well, I'm just, I'm salt just of the earth reminding people. reminding as a part of like, this is what she's looking like right now. So I understand. I'm, 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 I'm just letting you know that it wouldn't add to your convincingness. Uh, it might actually hinder it. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to say that it hinders it. It's just the, the guy is, thinks you're kind of sus. Um, but. The other two are convinced of what you said. And now, anything else there? I think, well, no, I guess that's all you got. Um, and then I'm going to bonus action Giant's Might. So I might bonus as well action? Just... Okay. Cool. I need to get a, a I need to get a bottle that would be better for that than that one. Oh wow. Okay. Um cough, cough. <laughs> oh, good thing we know somebody. If you go to Chimere Collectibles, you <laughs> could uh, idea. uh all right. <laughs> So that was Thera's turn, and Sindri, you're up, sir. The the demon seems to have vanished right before your eyes. I'm gonna let you roll the same check he did. It's gonna be harder for you because you don't um, have the same. He's kind not of going to check. He sees Sindri just sees an opportunity to help Shay out. So okay. I'm gonna use my movement to get next to Shay, and then use the healer's kit to step. Well, not stabilize, just give her some extra mm. hit points. Right after that, roll, roll me your uh, med medicine check, or uh, right? Uh, uh, no, because it says here just you just use your your uh, action because she's already stabilized. Yeah, he's giving me hit points. Six plus four so. hit points. Right. One thing I I'm not that. sure I, of. Like is everybody has additional. I, I gave everybody that feat that lets you use medical kits to give hit points back. The, the, is there no roll? Yeah. So, so when you use a healer's kit to stabilize a dying creature, creature gains one HP. As an action, you can spend one use of a healer's kit to tend to a creature and restore one d six plus four HP to it, ah. plus additional HP equal to the creature's maximum number of hit dice. So that's what he's doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A roll. It's a d six plus four, plus. Oh, maximum. Roll to six. So six plus nice. four is ten, and then you said plus the creature's Traditional. maximum number of hit dice. Would that be yes. of him or her? Uh, That's what it, I don't it would know. Be the, it would be hers. That okay. creature also oh, gains yeah. equal to the creature's sure. maximum number of hit dice. So you dice. get sixteen more uh, hit points back. Uh, please be advised mm -hmm. that a creature can't regain HP from this feat again until it finishes a short or a long rest. Correct. Right. So, one and done. That's also why I didn't do the healer's kit feet. Um, how much movement do they use to get across the room, by the way? 5, 10, 15, 20? No, you were... I was right in the there, corner, wasn't five, I? Ten, yes, 15. Here, here. 15 is what you did. Oh, 15. Uh, you still have 20 foot of movement. I do. Uh, say that I don't want to block the door. I'm gonna stand like behind Merrick. Okay. So I'll just use ten feet of movement to get next to Merrick, but not blocking a doorway or anything. Like that? Yep. 
and free action to just say, um, does anyone know what just happened? And that's it. Was I, didn't I give you, did you still want to roll your knowledge check or did you already do that? No, I'm saying that he didn't want to do it because he was focused on healing Shay because of the, he's seen an opportunity to just go, right, sod it, try and okay. heal Shay up. For sure. Because Shay's done it for him so many times. Right. <laughs> okay, well, well done, sir. Uh, speaking of, it's Shay's turn. As, as Mr. Sindri walks away, Shay's like, I'm so proud. <laughs> what you gonna do? And uh, Milo's still in dragon form. You realize he's def he's angry and defending you, and mm -hmm. he's so happy that you're. He, he has this look of happiness that you're up and about again. <laughs> I look at him and I'm like Milo, what did that desk do to you? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. I'm gonna have him nice revert stuff. back. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> he he, uh, he snuggles on you. <clears throat> that one. <laughs> wow. Or is the one that I always tell children? What noise does a cat make? <laughs> <laughs> it's usually a hiss. Yeah. Okay. Um, where did he go? What, what the cat where did the meter go? Deep in the water. <laughs> okay. So you use up all your free action chatting. Mm -hmm. What else do you want to do? Um, pick up Milo and I'll start heading out the door. Okay. So you snag Milo and follow Miss Thera. Mm hmm. Um, Step over the dead body going. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll say that it takes five or you move to. To grab Milo just because of the, mm -hmm. in the desk and everything. So 5, yeah, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> um, and you haven't done any action, so you could action dash if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll action dash. You want to be standing next to Mr. Yes. Giant Mr. In my head, I'm like, Mr. Angie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> you can see her eyes just um, boiling with rage. <clears throat> uh, and would uh, Thera's radiant consumption actually be slightly larger since she is now larger? No, so it's right. still ten, 10 feet. Me. Yeah. So it, it's ten okay. feet from from her center base. So even though her center base, okay. even though she's gotten bigger, her base has gotten bigger. It's still from her core. So, okay. Just I get what it. you're saying. If it were, if she were, that, that yeah, huge, yeah, got it. So you're done, right, Shane? Yes. Okay. Um. <clears throat> All right, so now we're back to where I was going to be at. Um, suddenly, Miss Thera and Shay see the looks on these guys' faces as their eyes go wide and they're looking kind of slightly up behind them on the, the captain's uh, thing. Uh, obviously, it's not their turn, so... They don't get a chance to look just yet. It'll be on their turn that they can. But um, let me see what the range of that is. Right now, Inky the Purple Man uh, suddenly comes flying by. Over here, behind this guy, 
he hovers <coughs> just barely up, uh, above the guy, and, and, and he's like watching as he as he does this. <coughs> um, and he looks down at him and says, "You would become my slave." And he does his charm thing on that guy. You save. That would be just great. That would be great. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't happen. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put a little purple thing next to this charmed one here. Ah, wasn't that a TV series? <laughs> um, I don't know. Yes. Yes, yes it was. And uh, <laughs> so it was bonus action to become uh, uh, physical. Um, so obviously, even though the model doesn't have it, you now see like wings have sprouted from him, and that's why he's flying. <coughs> uh, and that is his regular move. Um, and for his other, his second attack, uh, <coughs> he's actually going to be giving this guy a command. So he is done, and now it is. He is uh, just to be clear. Um, he is 15 feet off of the ground, so he's 10 feet above that guy's head. But he's like directly behind him. Kind of hanging next to the sail. All right. Do, 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 do. Eric. Um, sorry. Would I have heard his voice? Yes. And know that he's, yeah. Okay. So if I do, um, I'll use all of my movement mm -hmm. uh, to get out the door and to the left of Shay. So that's thirty. Forty feet of movement. Huh? Oh, yeah, 30. Uh, 40, yeah. Uh, 40, so, yeah. Uh, directly. Okay. That's fine. Um. Okay, I can now see him. Oh, yeah. He's floating 15 feet off the ground behind this guy. But he's not more than 90 feet away. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and then up 15. Be nope, not more than 90. Cool. Um, I'm going to match his energy with like the that context of like being silent. And even though he's, as a player, I know he's using an ability, but it's it registers uh, a lot to Merrick as his uh, subtle spell. Because mm -hmm. he's doing magic without speaking. Right. So Merrick's going to match that energy. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he's going to hit him with Tasha's Mind Whip, baby. Let's go. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what does Tasha's level. Mind Whip do? So uh, you lash out uh, psychically at one creature you can see within range. Target must make an intelligent saving throw. On a failed save, the target takes uh, <coughs> 3d6. Psychic damage, I am upcasting it at third level. Um, but uh, on a failed save, they take the psychic damage and can't take a reaction until the end of its next turn. Moreover, on its next turn, it must choose whether it gets a move, an action, or a bonus action. It gets one of the three. Okay. If it's successful, he takes half damage and no other spell effects. Gotcha. All right. Um, um, and that is upcast at, uh, oh, wait, that is 3d6. Okay. Yeah. Wait. So what's the, uh, what's the DC? Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, it's, uh, intelligence 15. I'm going to, if you don't mind me slightly retconning, upcasting Tasha's mind whip doesn't do more damage. It adds more targets and there's no reason to add an additional target. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to, to uh, re you don't have to use the higher level version of it. Correct. I agree. To do what I'm looking Yeah. If, since I really, I only see one target, I don't necessarily know the other guy is charmed. Because you I wouldn't want to necessarily hit an innocent guy anyway. 
though. Yeah. Exactly. So I had no idea that he's charmed regardless. So I, I don't see that person at his feet a threat currently. Agreed. All right. Yeah. So, so uh, let's uh, roll it here. So, DC 15 uh, intelligence saving throw. 15 intelligence. Mm -hmm. uh, so he does succeed. Does that mean he takes half damage, correct? He'll take half damage right. and no other effects. Gotcha. I didn't like that random firework that I just... Ooh, 13. Uh, I rolled 13 total, so he'll take six. Gotcha. What's interesting is you get the sense that he, he, he took even less than that somehow. Just isn't cool. psychic damage. Well, Theron doesn't know that. I know that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, anything else but uh, boss? <laughs> boss, man. Boss. Boss. No. Okay. Medic's done. Thera. I'm going to just start moving towards him. Okay. Directly towards him. Uh, this is 30 to here. And the, the dude that was just charmed, he's in my aura, right? Uh, well done. Yes, he is. Yeah. Cool. I see and what I you're doing there. Very clever. I'm impressed. Thanks. <laughs> I like it. Um. Mm hmm. I use all my movement. Can I? Can I like do like a bonus action to like jump swing out? Like use action and bonus action to jump swing at the dude, or so, try to grab his ankle or something, or um, like jump action, grapple, maybe. Let me see. Like, if we sort of see, if we sort of view your your. A running jump is like a charge. Let me see what the charge rules are in 5e. Yeah, because there's like a 10 foot running. We, we it's, literally it's, just had a calculator. The, the 10 feet is horizontal, not vertical. Or is it 10 feet? Is, oh, that's what I mean. Yeah. Hold on. BT literally sent me something. I have to put it down. Indeed. I can just send you the link again. This is all the uh, okay. So charging <laughs> is really just running up and attacking. They, they, in five E, there isn't a like a charge unless you have the uh, charger feet, um, which I don't think your character does, right? Um, no. Yeah. Wow, that was so bright. Charge. Oh, um. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Yeah, unfortunately, like you're, you're, yeah, like uh, I get what you're saying. If if you had had enough movement within, like, like if you're already closer, then that could have been doable. But because you, you're just a, your character knows with her athletics expertise that she's just a bit too far out of out of its range to do it. So. so <laughs> What, BT? I'm reminding you of what equipment that you have. I don't... A returning throwing axe. Do I? Yeah, you gave, I you gave, gave you my returning throwing axe. That's right, he did give that to you. <laughs> and I presumed you'd forget with all your many, many character sheets. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I chose to remind you of it. <laughs> and you keep that on your belt. You could easily, even with Raven's Edge in hand and shield in hand, um, you could technically 
Uh, I could just let go of Raven's Edge. Release Raven's he, Edge. Like, I will let you telepathically as a free action and tell him uh, attack on your own would be a quick, easy thing to say. And then you could just drop, let go of him, grab the axe, and give it a chunk. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So, she would not tell him that. She would just be like, stay right here. And okay. she would just grab the axe to throw it. Okay. Uh, hmm. What is this? Oh, that's just fuzz. I don't have this. What's the what's the axe? The axe information. The axe information. It's just a plus one hand axe, I believe. Right, guys. Plus one hand axe, axe of returning. Returning or something like yeah. that. Yeah, but yeah, plus one. It's a hand axe, and uh, so it's a D six. Plus your strength. I plus did have one. the information for it, but when I passed it to you, I deleted it. <laughs> so I don't have it on me now. <laughs> so one of my models has a has a broken arm with the weapon in it. <laughs> and we're going to use this as Raven's Edge hanging out. <laughs> Hand axe is a 1d6. It's a d6 plus, plus your strength plus the plus one weapon. And then it's your throw. So. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's the damage the, to hit is what based off her dex. No proficiency. It's plus still strength. Ranged attack, isn't it? Proficiency plus strength. Proficiency plus strength, because it's a thrown weapon, not a. Um, you know, so it requires strength to throw something with skill, yeah. not, not dex. That might, I might be thinking of it, it, it as a three point five thing, but I, that's that's fine. So you're gonna are you gonna do that, Druid? Are you making an attack with Thera? They're writing down the stats of the weapon. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Do not hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my turn. All righty, thank you. It is done, Sindri. And, and so I, I will say, as soon as I throw the hand axe, I do grab Raven's Edge. So Raven's Edge is back in my hand. Mm. Okay, that's it. Yeah, no, I, I don't like. That might just be a bit too much. Well, let me think for a second, actually. So you actually have two attacks, right? I do. Uh, and you used your bonus action to, to, to telepathically have him just do his hover thing. So you would technically still have an attack action to either throw the axe a second time, or if you want to do what you said and re-grab him. I just would re-grab Raven's Edge. All right, cool. And that's it. That's my turn. Roger that. Now back to uh, now. Yeah, Sindri. Everybody's left the room. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, because he knows he needs to get out there, mm -hmm. I'm going to activate my flame strider, which gives me an extra 20 feet of movement. Mm -hmm. And also, if I pass within five feet of a creature, it will take 1d6 fire damage. It can only take that damage once per turn, though. Is it any creature? It is any creature. Okay. Are you sure that's... Yep, that's definitely fire free, and I'm very aware of that, but tough titties. <laughs> okay. So, if I remember correctly, your character uh, with the that boots has a... That puts me up to 55 a... feet of movement. Do what, BT? Uh, so, with the increase of 20, that puts me up to 55 feet of movement. Right, because you have 35 from the boots, correct? Yep. So I'll go to the hex that's next to the gold dice. This is how far you can uh, get. Back one. I'll right. go back one to the right. Yep. So I've got a better line of sight and not. And you said if you pass within here. five feet of 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 somebody, they burn. Yep. So I'll have to do a one d six on 
whoever is on the right there. Uh, that'd be Shay. He heals her, then he burns her. <laughs> well, here's a uh, 1d6 of fire damage back. <laughs> you take two points of fire damage. <laughs> She's just like... Um, as, as my free action as I move past her, I'll be like... What'd you say? I just do really fast as I'm running past me. Sorry, Shay! <laughs> right on, that's funny. Okay. Uh, it's Shay's uh, turn. <laughs> Come down here and invite me like the man you are. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> okay, now what? Um... Uh, she's gonna move forward 15 feet. Here? Yeah. Nice. Uh, she's gonna switch out her weapons for her longbow. Right. And she's going to attempt to take a shot. Yep. It's not magical, but uh, the first shot does not hit. I do have extra attack. Right. So then you get to roll a second attack. Okay. Second attack does not hit because it's a one. Oh. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> Roll a three the first time and then a one the second time. Oh, wow, this is... <laughs> this is practically a non... You were distracted. Um, you ran forward and attacked, and shot, and shot, and kind of tripped over what you were doing, so roll a dexterity saving throw or fall down. Oh, yeah. Milo was running, running between my feet. Mm-hmm. I mean, canonically, she could be distracted because she just got burned by a flying past gnome. <laughs> yeah. Eleven for my dexterity. All right, you don't, you don't fall down. Okay. On the DC was a ten. So. She's just like, my low stop. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, now we're back to the top of the round. Big bad. Um, oh, wait, did this guy? Did this guy take some damage? From her. Oh yeah, the end of her turn. We forgot to do that. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. No, that's right. Um, I'm gonna have him roll his save again because he takes three point of. Uh... So because he is under the guy's command, and if he had done a different command, it wouldn't necessarily work this way. <laughs> but he literally did command the guy to attack Thera, which would effectively make her an enemy. Uh, which would mean that just unconsciously her radiant consumption would do damage to to it, right? Because we, I think the way we, we upgraded it is now that it, it only hurts your enemies, right? I thought I could designate. Oh, you have but... to designate. Okay, well, never mind then. It's just going to, yeah, hurt. It's going to hurt anybody that you don't designate. That's way easier. So he gets an <laughs> another saving throw. <laughs> Which he shockingly makes. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Got him. Got him. Um, now you see a little bit of frustration finally coming across the arrogant demon's face. <clears throat> um, three times he's tried to charm uh, somebody and three times either it failed or somebody got them out of, out of it. Um, telepathically, he booms out to everybody uh, the, within 60 feet of him and, and says, you all are becoming quite the pain in my ass. <laughs> and um, Now he points at Sindri and says, You that, serve me. Sind Sindri, roll me a. Uh... Oh, wait, let me check the range. A little bit higher, so he's gonna actually use some of his move to move over here. 
And uh, he's also going to move five feet higher, so he's now 20 feet up. 20... No, he's going to have to move farther. Here we go. Just barely in range. Uh, winky winky at you, BT. So go ahead and roll me a uh, wisdom saving throw, please. <clears throat> And because of my gnome cunning, I get advantage on that. Wait, what? What? Gnome cunning allows you to have advantage cunning. on saves of intelligence, wisdom, or charisma against magical effects. Cool. All right, you're rolling with advantage. Gnome cunning, not gnome coming, which you said, friend. <laughs> what? Just saying. It I did sound cunning. like he said gnome coming. <laughs> You, We're you having did. a gnome coming. <laughs> There's gonna be a dance and everything. It's it, no Sindri uses Spider-Man attack. <laughs> I mean, we are in a ship full of semen, right, BT? <laughs> uh, I I rolled a twenty. Wow, you rolled a natural twenty. No, well, sorry, I got a 20. That's a dirty 20. 20. All right, that definitely succeeds. You are not charmed by Mr. Uncharming. (laughs) Um, (laughs) He is visibly frustrated by this. Um, I'm stupid. It's still mine. Yes. Uh, as a free action, he says, <clears throat> It looks like I may have underestimated you all. Um, quite where the opponents you turned out to be. Wonder if you're from the interlopers. Well, you honor me with the great fight, so I will honor you with my name. I am Helion. And, uh, Actually, Helion, H E L I O N. Um, and <clears throat> I look forward to enslaving all of you. And then now he's done. And it is back to the top of the round. Or, excuse me, not the top of the round, because he did his thing. Now it's Merrick's turn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no one gives a shit who you are, mate. Um, <laughs> you get, uh, so I am going to risk it for the biscuit, mm-hmm. everybody. Uh, so 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, you said he is 20 feet up. He, he is, yes, correct. Cool. I'm going to use all 40 of my movement to get as close as I can to him. Okay. Or you could be there, I suppose, if you want. Yeah, that, it, yeah. Yeah, don't get it, within five feet of Sindri. <laughs> Is that still going on? Him, though. It's only on my turn that okay. I do the five. That uh, the one D six. All right. Uh, I'm just going to let you know what my intention is first. Mm-hmm. My intention is to grapple his ass. Um, by using Misty Step to port right behind him. Okay. Yep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna port up there. I'm gonna grapple him and fucking just. So you're gonna Misty Step right behind him or right behind him, slightly above him, so you drop down on him. Oh yeah, I'm I'm coming. Uh, okay. Like that one time I Misty Step on top of someone. Mm-hmm. Um, the intent is to do the same thing, and I will attempt to grapple. Him. All right. Let's do it. Uh, strength be strength. In this instance, because there's also... Featherfall prepared. That was my initial plan. 
So I want scrolls. Easy. There we go. Come on now. Um, okay. Alright. When you want to grab a creature or wrestle with it, you use the attack action to make a special melee attack and grapple. If you're able to make multiple attacks with the attack action, this attack replaces one of them. Um, which means you can do it more than once, I suppose. The target of your grapple must, must be no more than one size larger than you and must be within your reach. Both of those conditions are, are, are true. Uh, using at least one free hand, you try to seize the target by making a grapple check instead of an attack roll. Roll me your strength athletics check. <clears throat> uh, contested by the target's strength athletics check or dexterity a a acrobatics check. So I roll athletics check. Well, now for you, you have to roll athletics, period. He gets to yeah, roll. That's, that's what I'm asking. I, I yeah. roll athletics check. Yeah. Uh... Uh, uh. So what'd you get? What was your roll? Uh, sorry, I'm just I'm just checking. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, athletics. Uh. 23. I rolled a 19 on the die. Nice roll. And I have a plus four. Nice roll. Uh, unfortunately, he beat you by one. So he yeah, kind of, of wiggled out of your grapple. Um, I'll say, talk? though, that I'll give you a chance uh, mm, to roll your own. Let me see. What, what check would this be? Um, I'll give you I a chance a to grab hold of his clothes so that he's not grappled, but you're not falling. If you want to do I, that. I was, I, I was going to ask because even though I have the uh, extra attack, even mm -hmm. though I know it's with the with the weapon, um, I would say would it be acceptable to use my reaction to try to then just grab hold of something so I'm not. Yes. Just yes. I know you. Yeah, you have the second attack, but you're also falling at the same time. No, which is exactly yeah. that's why I was asking, like, if I could. Uh, yes. You yeah, can use your reaction to uh, uh, try and grab hold of his, of his uh, whatever that his skirt is he's wearing. Um, and just roll me um, athletics or acrobatics, whichever is easier for you. Be about to get a naked succubus in <laughs> a flying round. <laughs> 21. Just don't grab underneath the skirt. <laughs> You might be hanging maybe from the wrong thing. Maybe, maybe I want to grab his dick and twist it. <laughs> Does that do any I mean, If you're hanging on Jay's notes, he's got disadvantage for everything he does. Mm. He's got disadvantage on life. Uh, so it'd be 21. Okay, you successfully. <laughs> now, now uh, you guys see Merrick and he's like hanging from this guy's coattails. <laughs> um. failed successfully. Yes, you, you should, I like the way you put that. I'm gonna, here, simplify things. Be a little bit higher. And you're a little bit lower. <clears throat> Okie dokie. <clears throat> so you said he's 20 feet up? Yeah, which would make Merrick 15 feet up. Since he's dangling down from him. And with Thera and Giant Smite, I'm 12 feet tall instead of. I don't remember. How tall am I supposed to be? Because I'm 6 feet tall. Or 10 feet tall. 10 feet tall. 10 feet tall. You're, you're, tight. you're 10 because feet tall was, and you have was reach. 15 but... you answering the mic and call? Yeah, Sorry. It was when we used enlarge on top of Giant Smite that you went to the 15. Yeah, see, that's where I was just like, yeah. wait, I haven't actually, I don't remember. So I'm 10 feet tall. Mm hmm. Okay. Post yourself. Can I try the run jump slash with Raven's Edge this time? Let me see how much movement you have. 30 feet. It's a 20 foot lineup. 5, 10, 
He's 20 up. Yeah, you could. You have enough moves to do that. You're gonna have to use uh, one of your attacks for the uh, for the athletics check, but then That's you fine. can still get one attack. Yeah. So, so two dice. Well, first for the athletics, second for the actual attack. Right. Here, I'll just put that over here for now. Uh, seventeen for the athletics check. Yeah. Uh, that is successful. That is uh, the DC was a, was fifteen to be able to to jump up to to get in range to hit him. That puts you just enough with your reach to hit him with one attack. Now you need to make the attack. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> twelve total. Oh, twelve. My total. dice are not doing. Yeah, my dice are not doing well. Oh wow! What did you roll? A three. Oh, poor poor dice. Okay. Uh, you gave it a shot. Good good try. Um. And, uh, next, or, or, or was there anything else you wanted to do or say? Nah. Okay. Nope. Nothing. Hendry. Mm. Uh, Got it. Um, I'm going to cast Chaos Bolt. <laughs> Okay. Because why not? And that's a, 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 a an attack roll, correct? Yes. Okie dokie. I love that we're all just neglecting to acknowledge that Merrick is just hanging from the succubus. We're just like, we're just going to keep shooting at the succubus. There's literally nothing I can do to help. I know. <laughs> okay, roll the attack. Sorry if it seems like I'm rushing you. Uh, we, uh, we... That's a 21. Yep, he hits. Um, and now you need a what roll to determine what type of effect it is? Yes. So first, d8 is what determines what type of damage. So it's cold damage. Gotcha. Oh. Rolls the damage cell. 13 points of cold damage. Okay. He appears to have taken less than you thought he should have. Just resistant to magic. <coughs> Not force damage. You can be resistant to, to... So magic resistance in 5e only gives you uh, advantage on saving throws against magical effects that would require a saving throw. Um, damage resistance to <laughs> energy types is different <laughs> and is individual um, for each thing. Just to clarify. Um, anything else, Henry? Uh, nope, that's everything. Okay, Shay. Hey, let's move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. She's going to drop Milo and have Milo move. 5, 10, 15, 20, double move, 25, 30, to be underneath Mr. Merrick. Mm -hmm. Um... My little transform and catch Mr. Merrick just in case. Okay, that's clever. <laughs> there you go. Can you get saved by the cat? <laughs> um, oh, and then yeah. Shay's going to take another shot with her bow and arrow. Yep. Uh, that's a 22. Yep. Is that, is that bow magic? No, it is not. Oh no, it's a D8. Are you sure? It's not? <laughs> no, it's the longbow I've had since the beginning. I okay. haven't upgraded yes. it yet. Uh, six points of damage. Seem to be less effective. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the second one hits at a... at a 14. Second shot. Hmm. You're right, there's not. All right, back to the top of the round. <clears throat> um, Helion looks down at Merrick and, and, and says, if you wanted to get touchy-feely, you couldn't just ask. <laughs> and uh, and uh, now you get to make me a uh, wisdom saving throw as he, as he uh, does his 
his purple blinky eye at you. <clears throat> 17. Uh, everyone, though. You got it just on the die, just barely on the die. So you resist it. Now everybody is immune for 24 hours to his charm effect. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he must be pissed. <laughs> yeah, he's not too okay. thrilled about this. It has not <laughs> been working out. He's used to just dominating everybody. Uh, and uh, it's just not working out so well. Um, so he's just going to, since it didn't work on, on the guy hanging from him, he's going to swing at him with his sword. <clears throat> Uh, and your AC is a 19 currently? Uh, no, my AC is, because I got new armor, my base 18 is 17, plus 4, so... 21. 21. Very cool. Yeah. Let me see. What, what we That's annoying. Yeah. To me. Hmm? AC is only 20. And my wizard and, has a high. Oh, wow. He got 21 right on the die. Right. Both of you got each other right on the die. All right. Um... Um, well, as a reaction, mm -hmm. shield. He's plus five to my AC. Okay. okay. So he does not hit. Yeah. A six. You see, you see, as he as he goes to swing, <laughs> you see like a, a bird wing just come out and just go. He was going to hit you. You could tell he was going to nick you right in the shoulder, but it didn't work. Um, yeah. All right. Well done. So he's done with his turn, although he can still move. Um, he's not dumb. He, you're holding on tight. He's going to move. Uh, he gets to move half movement while dragging you. So instead of 60, he can move 30. Um, he's going to stay 20 feet up. And then move the two of you over here. And now I'm done. Uh, so now it's your turn, Ethan. <clears throat> so as I'm as I'm hanging on, I got that like spinning fucking shit going. Yeah, touch this bitch, and then fucking uh, chromatic to the sack. I'm going to do the uh, the cloister <laughs> boiler. You're going to do what? <laughs> the I'm oyster gonna, boiler? Uh, yeah, oyster boiler, baby! Now, what spell are you doing? <laughs> uh, chromatic orb. Oh. <laughs> okay, chromatic orb to the nut sack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, roll your attack okay. action. <clears throat> uh, hang on. Uh, I would like to pick my damage first. Um... I think you actually roll the attack before you roll. Wait, no, this is chromatic uh, no. orb, not uh, chaos chromatic. orb. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm just, uh, I'm trying to think. I want, I want to decide what the damage is first before I roll it and be like, mm, let's see what would be. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. I, I will say I'm gonna maintain my theme of of Merrick. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm aware lightning uh, didn't do nearly as much. Um. Merrick is going to make the assumption that fire is not going to do nearly as much. Mm -hmm. You also saw that uh, cold didn't do as much. Yeah, so I'm going to do thunder because it's still with it's the fire okay. lightning thunder is a, well, all very mm -hmm. thematic. Um, is it an attack? And it's uh, a it's it's a hit. Yeah, it's it's a hit. Uh, so plus seven. So let me get this straight. You're giving him a thunder cock. <laughs> yes. Any chance BT gets, like even to yes. just a hint and tease at it. Yes. I love it. Uh, I rolled <laughs> 20 total. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. He you guys haven't hit the magic million. number yet, but since we're close to the end, end of combat, his oh. AC is 19. His AC is 19. 19. Oh, biscuit eating bulldogs. That was close. Uh, 5d8. I need some d8s, my love. 5d8? 2, 3. <laughs> I have 3, 4, 5. He's upcasting it, third level, by the way. Mm -hmm. For those of you that are curious. 
Wow. Is that why it's 5D8? That's yep. why it's 5D8. That is absolutely why it's 5D8. Um, that's not Just bad. Sonic boomed his nuts. <laughs> Star Wars! Underground. <laughs> uh, okay. One. Twenty-five. Wow. Twenty-five damage. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, to the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> he. Uh, he. So he he's able to twist in in the air and stuff just enough that he doesn't take it all on the nuts. Some of it goes up his thigh. But the thing is, is he feels all of the the damage. You can tell that it's very effective. And he he howls in pain. <laughs> Uh, but they would have and, done beautiful things to you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I, if, if I may, one more, one more, one more comment. Um, I bet you're not used to that, eh? <laughs> <clears throat> He's all like, I didn't know you were into that. <laughs> all right. Um, so Merrick's done. Thera. <clears throat> I wasn't even ready. Uh... <laughs> uh, if I look at Shay, how does Shay look? I mean, she's still pretty beat up, but she's, she's not like dying. <clears throat> but who looks like beat up, cuts, bruises? I mean, technically to, you know, I can't give you specifics unless you want to uh, use your bonus action to do a medical check on her. Can you I have do to that? go over next to her. I will go over next to her. Okay. I'll... You go over next to her and uh, do a medicine check on her. Go ahead and uh, roll it. What'd you get? I got a natural 20. Oh, poor thing wasted your natural 20 on that. Uh, you know, the DC was a 10. So what are your actual total hit points now? I'm at 30, 30 out of 62. All right, so she's down. You can tell she's back 50% of her life. You know, she's she's pretty pretty messed up, but not at death's door. Day's worth that natural 20. It's a great game, by the way. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I'm going to just keep pat her on the shoulder mm-hmm. and say, you're doing a fantastic job. We have to make sure you stay standing. And I'm going to give her five points of lay on hands. Is that all you have left now? That's, yeah, it's all, like, all, you know, I can't do, I can't do a, yeah, that's it. It's all the things. Right, because you had lay on, you did lay on hands before, but I'm assuming you didn't do max. And this is the rest I of did. it. I did. No. Healing hands. Healing hands. What's healing Last hands? Time. That's uh, ASMR. Oh, that's an ASMR thing, not a paladin thing. Okay, so you, yeah. you did some of your, your. okay, gotcha. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. You, you get some five hit points back. <clears throat> there you go, five more hit points. You done after that? And then I'm just going to flip off the guy. <laughs> Roger that. Uh, Sindri. Mm. After seeing Merrick's attack, Sindri is going to follow suit. And Thunder Chromatic Orb him at third level. <laughs> Royer the hit. For the love of God. I hope that I. God damn it, it's a 16. Misses. Ah, oh, it whizzes right past his head. Actually, it whizzes right between his legs and almost hits poor uh, Merrick. <laughs> he sees it go right past. <laughs> and, but the guy's looking because you were kind of aiming at his nuts, probably. The guy's looking down like, not a, not again. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, again. yeah. And so now it's Shay's turn. I'm assuming you don't do any moves or anything. You just stay put, right, Sindri? Yeah, I'm staying put. Oh, thank you, Miss Thera. Milo, try and catch Mr. Merrick. Okay. <clears throat> 
25, 30, 35, 40. Not quite there. What's his move? 20? 20. All right, yeah. Yes, his double move is Baby. 40. Mm -hmm. Then Shay is going to take his 5, 10, 15, 20. Mm -hmm. And then take another shot. That's a 22. Yeah. For nine points of damage. Nice. Not it's non magical? Non magical. Yeah. Second shot. It's another 22. Yeah. Ooh. Hell yeah, baby. Yeah. You made this dance. Or four points of damage. I rolled a. Wait, wait, ha... no, it's not a melee attack. Never mind. What were you thinking? I have Savage Attacker, but it's only for it's only for melee attacks. Right. Okay. Uh uh. Dang. Uh you were so close. <laughs> um Dang. This is the way it's gotta go. Uh <clears throat> he 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 says in a uh name kind of a commanding voice telepathically in all your heads uh commanding voice but also in, in a respectful like uh like he, he respects how, how you put him to the task uh he, he says we uh, i i definitely underestimated you and uh, and was not given proper information you you all must be from the uh, what was it I said earlier? Um, the interlopers. interlopers? Yeah, interlopers. I need to write that down. Yeah. You must be from the interlopers. <clears throat> I shall report this to Sardok. We shall meet again. Then he goes ethereal. Of course, you have nothing to hold on to anymore. Uh, and you get... Uh, so you're going to be falling once it's your turn. Um, and, uh, yeah... Uh, here's your new shiny shoes. <laughs> Cause, uh, uh, so we're going to nickname him shiny cock. What was that? <laughs> shiny cock, <laughs> right. Instead of shiny <laughs> shoes, it's, 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 is it shiny cock or thunder cock? You got shiny I'm shoes and thunder it's cock. It's actually thunder cock would be the, would work the best. Yeah, it would. Um, he's going to beat Pete's ass out of there. <laughs> you were so close. If you had rolled the same damage. Uh, on the second roll as you did on the first roll, you would have killed him. Yeah. <laughs> he was at four hit points. I know, that's why I was like, wait, I'm savage. Never mind, Savage Attacker's not going to work in this instance. Yeah, he was about to get hit with a magic missile. That would have finished him off. He's, he, he, he was at two life after she got... You all wore his ass out. Um, well, he's ethereal. Not in the usual way, so keep no, he's, 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 like, he's oh. on the ethereal oh, plane. Okay. You don't see him. You don't know where he's at. He's gone. Remember, we went through gotcha. this. He's not incorporeal. <laughs> he's, he's ethereal. He's beaten. He's like, you know. <clears throat> he's got to make new plans now. You guys messed up his plan. At least you helped him with the pirates. Helped him get done with his, his partners. Um, <laughs> you all get the sense, based upon what he said, that, like, He's not around for you guys to wait around and, and fight him. Um, so, we're in combat. Uh, oh yeah, your character would would fall. I'm gonna give Milo a chance to, to assist your reflex as, save to avoid I, I some points. As, as soon as I start, like as soon as he vanishes um, at, at the top of my turn, I'll just miss his step to the ground. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, it is your turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and Milo's just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm I, assuming I, you let Milo I, go back to him. kitty form. Well, hang on. He's still in his his big old big old dragon form, and he's just like doing this, like trying to catch. Drops down, looks at me. Mm -hmm. I and I I grab him by by his. <laughs> face and just give him a weird anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy about this <laughs> and he gives you a big lick. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I forgot no, you I could do uh, that. Hang on. But... Hang on. Hang on. He gives me a big lick. Uh, I'm 100% going to take four damage because that is a spiky fucking tongue. 
<laughs> I rolled a D4 and right. took four. I'm just gonna take one because that is that is probably very aggressive. <laughs> Merrick needs to regrow his beard. Um, <laughs> that's not canon. So it's canon. It's not. In the last eight minutes of tonight's run, um, what do you what do you guys do now that the, your your enemy has fled? Again? It's painful. Go through the the stuff on her hurts. Ugh. So. Um. Well, my giant smite and my uh, which we'll call it, go away. So I'm just normal Othera. As does okay. Cinder's flame strider. Um. So the 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 uh, all the. Oh, <laughs> the sailors are like, what happened? Was that true what you said? Is cat is, is Captain Kurai dead? Uh, where is your first mate? He's out, uh, uh, uh drinking at the inn, or at the tavern right now. He's having a, having an ale with some of the other crew members. Can you have somebody go fetch him? Right. Uh... And one of them tells the other one <laughs> to go, and he, he goes running off. And the, the one that's sort of in charge, this guy, he comes over and, and, and sees that obviously none of that was sus. And he says, is the captain really dead? <clears throat> it is correct. No, it's terrible news. Oh. Well, he scratches his head. Mostly terrible news. <laughs> He's like, he was not a I am fun sorry. person to work for, but he paid well. <laughs> I am sorry for your loss, but he was a dick. He was rather, background, so <laughs> rather just obnoxious. <clears throat> In the background, Cinder just pipes up. At least you don't have to listen to his voice again. <laughs> and uh, some of the other... <laughs> you, see, <laughs> you see all the crew members that are there nodding their heads. <laughs> and one's already run off. They're like nodding their heads. <clears throat> they say, but now, now, uh, who's going to pay us out? Um, well, I'm retrieving your first mate before wow. we just leave you here. Well, what, what happened? Uh, what was that creature that, that attacked him? <clears throat> I don't want to repeat the story twice. We'll wait for your first mate and I'll tell the story. Shay pups and pipes out and says, "He's just, just a meaner." <laughs> um, so it's gonna take actually quite some time for them to go get that guy. Mm. And hopefully, the first mate's not drunk. <laughs> yeah, like like he's he's off at a tavern in town, so they they're gonna have to go to the tavern and find him in the tavern and get him to come. And so we're talking at least you know minimum. 30 minutes to go get the guy. Mm. Obviously, you, your your characters uh, are planned to do the right thing, uh, take it the noble thing, just, just to wait and share with them what happened. Um, and then, so that's where we'll, we'll start next week. You'll have a conversation with this crew uh, and then decide, you know, what you want to do as far as talking to the local constable uh, to complete the mission so you can get the, the 5k reward. Um, at least now you know you don't have to split it with <laughs> um, the... Unless you want to... I don't know. You'll have to do we'll some more investigating. I guess there's week. still a little bit of time left. You know, there's still some yeah. questions unanswered. Like, how much did his crew know? Were they really loyal to him? Did they know he was a demon? Or not? Um, mm -hmm. And how did he... Like, like Sindri said earlier, you know, um, you know, how was it that you guys got that specifically? Was it, would it have been different if they had not, you know, or was the, was the, the port, uh, the port authority Master. guy, was he in on it and lied to them?
So yeah. out next time on next Drag <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Um Alrighty. Any questions or comments from anybody? I have comment for you guys. Uh, I don't know. You I were can, really I can't close. See. I could tell Thera was frustrated because she wanted to really hammer down on this guy and she didn't really get to as much as she wanted to. Um I did too. It's got two weapon fighting and it's just like no, I, I get you. I get you. To be fair, Sindri only landed one attack. <laughs> yeah, the one presented the most damage was uh, was Merrick. She did pretty good too, though. I mean, yeah, That's and you true. all did good. I thought you hit, um, uh, you hit more than once. Beat no, I just hit in the once with that chaos bolt. So we spent Everything most of the time missed. healing Shay. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, when he crits and does the, the exact amount of hit points I have, <laughs> one, it's yeah. a kind of like, uh... Like, oh, shit. <laughs> I, this guy uh, was no okay. joke. <laughs> May I ask, what was his uh, hit point total? 120. He did 118. Ugh. Oh. Merrick is extremely vindictive at the moment. Like oh, that, uh, he's, I no more he so than there, I'm sure. <laughs> I probably shares the similar amount of hatred and just is there right at now. Just like, oh, now I know why you hate these fucks. Yep. <laughs> you guys can can bond over this. I, I look forward to the, you guys role playing that, and and I'm sure you guys will chat about it offline. <laughs> I mean, I gave us about like 15 minutes. We'll, we'll be talking. Yeah, I have to shove right food on. in my face first, though. You mm. have to what? Shove food in oh, my yeah. face. Yeah. Uh, on that note, hey, oh, never feel peas here. Dude, we, um, I can send it to him directly if Stormy wants. I got his info. Oh, already got it. Hell yeah. Um, Razengan. I don't know who that is. Um, new, new follow? Wait, no. New follow. I, I, I agree with you on the oh. Razengan. That was, yeah. Not, not what I initially thought when I went to do it, but it's 100% that. What? Yeah. Um, Never Tilted uh, said uh, Rasengan. Uh-huh. Um, and when I did the uh, Thunder Chromatic Orb, um, that's not what I was thinking of when I did it. However, uh, 100% correct. What is it? I was like, that's from Naruto. When he does the, like, shocker thing, and he's just like, ah. even though arguably it's probably closer to Chidori. Anyway, I just went on a nerd. Move along. Don't look at me. <laughs> no, 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 that's good. I honestly, that's one anime I haven't watched. Uh, so you, you never watched Naruto? Mm -mm. Or as my um, mom would call it, Narlito. <laughs> well, she'd always make fun of that shit. Let's see. Oh, we got a new follower too. Uh, is that Ilimjet? Ilimjeti? Ilimjet. 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 Welcome. We love you. I appreciate you. I think so, it's I'm Jet. It just has multiple eyes in the front, probably because I'm Jet was taken. Oh, yeah. And then be that. I'm Jet I'm with Jet. two eyes was probably taken. I love uh, it. There is no war in bossing, say Jet. All right, let's take a peek at who we can uh, uh, I mean, grace our presence with. Oh, I mean, Yotin's alive, and he won the dice giveaway. Uh oh. That is true. Um, Riches. <laughs> hmm. Is that? I thought of another name for it as well, Fat. The Cockle Grumbler. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, just clams and yeah, cockles. I guess that, that that seems pretty fitting. Although, actually, I was, I don't know, I wouldn't, like, Ilta Scene has been streaming all day. That's kind of cool. Uh, and I was chatting with him earlier. Uh, and Jotun did win the dice. Eh, it seems fitting to, to do Jotun bec uh, because he won the dice. We can, we can, uh... So everyone, we're going to go check out Jotun Redwolf, our friend who is also a DM. Uh, what was that, BT? I just said attack the Jotun R. Right. <laughs> uh stream raid. There it is. Beep, beep, beep. We didn't raid him last beep, week, beep, did we? Beep, I don't beep, think beep. we did. Mm, 
no idea. Didn't we do bite size last week? Yeah, I think so. The raid has started. I that that song. <laughs> uh, counting up now. Thank you guys for coming tonight. Uh, oh, we better do it from uh, this one right here. Thank you guys for coming tonight. It's been been fun. Uh, epic fight against an elite incubus. Um, the party members almost. Uh, I'm sure they will meet him again someday. So. With that said, we will uh, go raid Yotan Wet Red Wolf. I appreciate you all, and um, we'll see y'all later. Good. Okay. Peace. <laughs> <clears throat>